Welcome to Burr-rated, B-rated movies, <laughs> where B-rated isn't a bad word. What is going on? Is that I'm how you answer your phone? Is this a phone oh, call? No, this is not. Is this oh. a phone call? This is real life. This is IRL, bruh. Yeah. No cap. No cap. Is that a kid I hear? Yeah. What's the matter? So, um... <laughs> So you gotta say words, bud. Today wanted me to do a cheat sheet for all of what my people say, and uh, uh, I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's, a ki- it's bring your kid to work day. Yeah, right. This is the podcast with podcast with Riz. Boom, no cap. <laughs> there it is. Oh, get that toy. Yeah. Um. I, all day I've been trying to think of something. Like, why would I need to bring my kid to work? And, like, the only thing I come up with is that I have explosive diarrhea. <laughs> right? But then they're like, well, why would your kid need to go to work with you if you have diarrhea? And I was like, I s- <laughs> nope, just need to bring more and more toilet paper, I guess, to me. He's your bathroom buddy. Right? <laughs> like, we did that. You ever did that joke? Hopefully you do do it to him. Um, where you put, like, Nutella on your fingers and you're like come quick I need some toilet paper and then they hand you the toilet paper roll you touch their hand with it <laughs> have you seen those videos I have not oh my god dude do it although and they no, I... freak out so bad they get so upset so they're just like what is on me and you're just like sorry I my stomach's really upset and then you touch their hand or their wrist with it yeah and they're just like what is this and like some kids freak out some kids start screaming <laughs> I was really confused when my dad did it because um, uh, first he took it from my hand weird, and usually he asked for about five rolls of toilet paper, uh, and you and he <laughs> asked for one this time, which was confusing for me. <laughs> it was also confusing because we don't have Nutella in the house, so <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, Tom, my dad. He's back. Dun 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 dun. dun. Yes. <laughs> Hello. <Say> hi, Dad. <laughs> yes, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah. So we've got uh, just a bunch of fathers and kids today. Yeah. Hi, kid Kane. Kane's here. You're eating your scary gummy worms before the scary movie. And, just... Le- and Levi is here. Oh. We've got Levi. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> And then that's where we get shut down for copyright. <laughs> like you said it for five seconds. You're only allowed to say it for four. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. So I guess we got to her do the spiel of where they can reach us. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> check out our website, beratedberatedmovies.com. dot uh, Check out our uh, our merch store under the under the merch tag. Uh, <clears throat> our Redbubble store with all the tees, tanks, hoodies, and uh, stickers. And still no on the other thing. What? Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no. Well, we can't, you know. So this, for the most part, is going to be a kid safe episode. Yeah, a kid right? safe episode. Oh, and this month, uh, our Apple subscriber podcast episode is Brian's pick. Oh, so I, the reason why we went with this one is because I really want to berate this movie. Because Brian doesn't like me. Uh, I think it was both of us. <laughs> when both of us come up with this decision, you're just like, damn it, all right. And like, we both, because like, we've done some good movies. We've done some good I movies feel that this we berate. Way about, I feel the way about this movie the way you did about The President's Man. Dude. I'm, I'm just mad at the, the thought of having to talk about it. No, I see. This is like you know when you, when something bad happens, it's like, bro, you just gotta talk about it, man, and you'll get over it. Like I think that's what's gonna happen. I haven't watched this movie in what twenty four years, maybe. I don't know. I've seen it on TV, and every time I watch it, I'm like, nope. every time it's on TV, if it is, like I just turn my TV off. <laughs> and they're like, you can just turn to another channel. I was like, no, I don't want my TV on if that <laughs> thing is even being, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know what I think you should do, Anthony? What's that? You should make a uh, merchandise hoodie or tee that uh, is like, B is not a bad word. 
or yeah. B-rated isn't a bad mm-hmm. word. I think that's on some of the stuff we're going to be putting out. Yeah. 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 We've got all the stickers. We've got stickers right back there on the counter. We have we have designs that haven't gone out yet. Yeah. So my pick to berate, and like this one's gonna be a no mercy one for sure. Oh god, yes. Is Fast and Furious. The original. The Fast first and Furious. Is it called that? I don't even know. Well, because there's <clears throat> there's the Fast and the Furious. Or there's Fast and Furious, and then there's The Fast and the Furious. Whatever the first one is. And that's the fourth one, so it's super confusing. What if it's The Fast Furious, or Fast and The, so they no, just then, keep switching thes and they, ands? No, then once you get past four, then it's like, or, or then it's like Fast 5, Furious 6, Fast 7, Furious 8. Like, they, they start doing that thing. Dude, I can't wait. Then they have, like, when you get to 10, it's Fast X. It's ooh. like, ooh, so extreme. S- scary. Ooh. Yeah, no, I can't wait to... Well, I'm not looking forward to watching the movie. I am looking forward to that episode. Though. All I remember is Paul Walker annoys me. There's People, those clips just like, I said, forget about her. People, yeah, and he... <laughs> Paul Walker annoys me with the fact, with trying to act black. And that's the second one, though, I think. Dang it. Cause, so I'm not even going to be able to watch that one? We'll, we'll get to that one. I hope not. <laughs> well, we're going to have to. If you start something, you have to finish it, right? I don't know. Mike. I'm being honest, man. Like Before we even start recording, I was telling you guys like my my hatred for this. Like, like I'm not looking forward to watching that movie, but the talking about it, maybe it'll open up my eyes. And maybe I'll be like, you know what? But yeah, I was wrong all those years ago. But no, Paul Walker annoys me. They overshift. It's like if you shifted as much as they did, you would destroy your engine. We watched uh, doom, 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 doom. Kane like, and I watched uh, a movie. What was that movie? Where it was the fast drive, drive fast or something like that. Oh, the one with Nicolas Cage. No, no, no. no. This one's like a. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm thinking drive scary angry. movie. I'm thinking drive angry. Yeah, all the yeah. those one movies that come out where they make fun of all the other movies. Like oh, there's yeah. a one about vampires that are making fun of all of the. These eating. He's eating the vampires. So they started making fun of like Twilight movies and they started making fun of all those. But this oh, yeah. one made fun of all the Fast and Furious movies and it had like that Vin Diesel lookalike dude. And it was, yeah, but that's when, exactly it's like, wink, 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 wink. And they kept like switching up with their fingers and everything. <laughs> yeah. You want this? Sh- uh, sh- I. What about if Fast and Furious made a movie they called Fast, Furious, and The? <laughs> yeah. It would be a different title, since they uh, keep using different variations of the same title. Yeah. No. It's all about family. So that's one. yeah. Maybe we should just keep a tr- the tally. Every time they say family, you got to drink. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's gonna be <laughs> make a, a rough drinking rough. game out of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Go crashing to water. Then you wouldn't have to think about it, Brian. Yeah, it, it's gonna be a rough watch. <laughs> I don't know if we should watch it together or you know separately. I'll, I'll watch that separately. <laughs> All right, might take me a couple times. So yeah. Um, so what else is going on today? Recently. We got back into our place. It's normal again. Yeah. Um, I don't see everything on the counter. Right, we have a counter. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so tonight... Did, you did I shave the ice? <laughs> or, did you, or did you just... And if he's going to crash into a bill, like... Pfft. Well, I drank your ice, and then I put it from my cup to yours. Was that Okay. Nope, there's yeah. a stare down. Yeah, there's a stare down. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, not cool. <laughs> right. So, I remember the books, uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Yes. When I was a kid. And so, I was about Kane's age. Well, I remember reading those and it, you know, it's kind of like when you watch like the original Willy Wonka. Mm-hmm. Like, you get that that deep sense like this is not, like this is marketed at kids, but it's not for kids. I didn't th- like. I remember some of them, and so, you know, Kane's above his reading level and stuff like that. Well, I mean, they took a more direct approach, where it's like if you watch, um, uh, what, what was the name of the? Uh, there was the 
there was the two competing shows, and I think they were both on Nickelodeon. There was Goosebumps and Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Oh yeah, the TV shows. Just the TV shows, and um, uh, and when you watch those, you always get like the scary one first because they always show it at like eight o'clock at night or whatever, and they don't they don't want kids going to bed with nightmares and having families complaining. It would be funny if they made them watch the scary one first. They're just like, now it's your bedtime. We'll put the not so scary one on next. But no, they would always put they would always do the scary one first and then the less scary ones later. Uh-huh. And they there was an approach to you know make it. You know, lightly scary. No, but I just remember those. Those books. books were not. So those books, as soon as they, you know, like I was like, wait a second, like every book series that Kane gets, like he finishes them. So I was like, dude, read these books. And so then we would read the books together and everything like that. So he has like one through three. I think that's all there is, right? Yeah, one through three. And then they come out the movie. So I was like, awesome. So now, tonight, we're watching Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. The 2019 uh, Guillermo del Toro executive produced Man. one. I think this was for Netflix. Well, I put on two pairs of underwear <laughs> in case I dump my pants. <laughs> right? Bring a party party. <laughs> I actually just went to the old folks home and I stole all their bedpans. <laughs> and like I just cut a hole in the couch. And I'm just sitting on a bedpan right now as we speak. That's not a bad idea. Boom. Not for the scary stories down the dark. It's like when you go to some parts of uh, some parts of Mexico where you there's literally just like a hole in the in the floor. There's like, oh, too many chimichanga bombs. <laughs> you fell through the floor? No. Uh, just no, doing thank it you. standing up. <laughs> like you fell through the floor. Yeah. Like... So with that we have, I, I can't ever pronounce it, like Martellini's Sparkling Grape Juice. Oh, yeah, Martellini's or whatever it is. I don't know. Yeah, Sparkling yeah. Grape Juice for the kids. And they're going to be eating some scary gummy worms that look like they're already destroyed for that. And then we're just going to be having some of Grandpa's old cough medicine, <laughs> as they say. I don't use cough medicine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only grandpa here. <laughs> it was his. <laughs> yeah. But I guess, you know, we can get to the movie real quick. But before you go, I got a question for everybody. Would you rather have no cap on your drip and dab ups or no cap on your mewing and riz? But you live in Ohio. Can I get a translation? And Kane doesn't want to answer that. <laughs> you want unlimited okay. no caps on can, your can wrist? Can we get a translation on this? Okay, um, hold on. Uh, Dad, can Please. I see your phone real quick? Nah, bro, I'll that's look. mid. <laughs> see, this is why I regret everything that I did today. I'm not mid, I'm alpha. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's no skibbities here. <laughs> <laughs> right? I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> IRL, man. <laughs> IRL. I feel what like the? Tom Cruise. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> yeah, I was I was waiting for a translation, but I, I don't know. Nope. Okay, uh, can you tell me it again so I can... Uh... Nope, you didn't even answer it. I think I'd go with the, uh, the unlimited dab-ups. I just love high fives. Well, since the second option had something to do with Ohio, yep. I'll go with the first one. Yep, there it is. No Ohio. Nope. Well, I think both of them were going to be in Ohio anyways. So I think one is basically, would you rather be cool or pick up on a bunch of chicks? And then no cap. You get a choice? Yeah, that was the question. I'd rather be cool. Yeah, that was the question. Uh, would you rather have no cap on your drip and dab ups? <laughs> or no cap on mewing and your riz. <laughs> uh, oh, yep. I take the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> I, there were a lot of words that were just said. So, just back to back to back. Just back to back, and I have no idea Man. what that <laughs> means. But all right. So, incorrect. Nope. Ability to pick up girls and affecting your jawline. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta look, you gotta hold the part, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, I'm going to grab a, some more cough medicine. All right. Well, <clears throat> we will. Uh, I'll go for some coffee. Some there you go. Juice. We'll see you back for the beginning of the movie.
Word up. Back Hello? at the beginning of <laughs> scary <laughs> stories to tell in the dark. This is Brian with a B. This is Anthony. And Kane. With a K. Levi. This is Tom with a T. Boom. Well, that's going to be a new everybody. That's like, my name's James with a J. They're like, how else do you spell it? <laughs> with a G. M E S. Right. With a G. Games. Is there another one? My name's B. My alternate name is. B right. with a B. They're like, my name's B, but with a PH. They're like, <laughs> Phil? You're like, what? Fee? Why did you even say just Phil, then, you stupid jerk? <laughs> so, again, this is going to be our uh, our family friendly yeah, episode. Unless, unless Tom gets unruly. We're going to throw no. people off. <laughs> Levi already told me that he's going to say some words. <laughs> Levi's going to say some words? He, he warned me. Uh, my name's Kane. Uh, <laughs> with, a K, that. with a K, not a C. Hmm. So now we get a the very last autumn of our childhood, like a an o or a uh, like a a voiceover. And now we're in 1968. When does your childhood end? Like uh, 18 years eight. and like six months, four days. I think like I, I have mine hasn't 18. ended actually. That's what I'm saying. Like it's yeah. like this is the last day of our childhood. So what? we're yeah, 1968 in Mill Valley, Pennsylvania. Wait a second. And now and we're in the season of the witch. Not? Yeah, that's a good song. I like that song. So, oh. so, so people are uh, oh, like going to Nam and voting for Nixon. Well, we already know that guy's a nerd right there. The one that came out, he looks like a what do you call? It? He looks like the dude, the fire kid from X Men. Oh yeah. Um, uh, Johnny Storm, whatever his name was. Yeah, that and the uh, flame on. What is it? Stranger Things what season one, flame where that dude was the bad guy, but then he ended up being really cool with the kids. Gets yeah, big glitter hands. Big girl with freckles. <laughs> that is so cool. They're playing the song soundtrack in the background. It is. There's that guy who's been in every single cop movie ever. He, and he, <laughs> he, was he in Breaking Bad? Yeah. He yeah, he's the, the guy from Breaking Bad, yeah. The brother-in-law? The, the brother-in-law, the bald guy. I, you wouldn't even need to describe him. But you know that guy who plays a cop in every movie? Oh, yeah. That guy. He was in this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody well, knows his name, but he's there. Mm-hmm. So now we get the girl with the glasses um, uh, laying in her bed, talking on her walkie. Being a girl with freckles. And uh, a kid with a bug catcher. On no, his that's face. a fish. A, a fish. A fish scooper, and he's on the toilet <laughs> with a fish scooper on his face. Just letting you know right fish now, Kane. If you ever are walking to the toilet no with a fish catcher, I'm instantly going to stop you. There's no fish catchers allowed in the toilet. But no cat, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, IRL. There's so, no fish things allowed in the bathroom. So then we see uh, this kid in a leather jacket who's handed a flyer for a party. Halloween. A Halloween party. I wonder if there's any Hershey bars in that pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point out that, you know, this was, when did they say? 58? 68? 68. So now we, we, have, we see the kid who's going to have the dorkiest costume because... His mom made his clown costume, but it looks like he's going to be like a living doll. Yeah, the children of the corn. Oh. Uh-oh. What? And then, this is what I did when I graduated school. It's like, hey, let's go to a cornfield and beat up a... Uh... Beat up scarecrows. Yeah. That's how tough I am. You might want to rethink that. That's as soon as he left the trying to sign up for the Marines. Like, I'm going to go beat up a scarecrow. <laughs> this will show him for denying me. I told him I don't have any anger issues. <laughs> But I do. Ew. Is he uh, 
turd wrangling up. Some... He's he's scooping his turds into a bag. Oh. 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 Yeah. Spider Man. Is gonna... that how you do it? Gosh darn it. So now there's another kid who wanted to be Spider Man and looks yeah, like. Well, now we found the real nerdiest outfit. He's, <laughs> he's wearing his mother's drapes. We found the real <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> He's going to take the, his turds and give them to other kids. Dude. <laughs> like a or no, he's, they're I've gonna never let, done that. They're going to light a bag of, of poop on fire in front of somebody's house. And then when they stomp the fire out, they stomp <laughs> those turds out. Does anybody do that anymore? Dude, uh, did you ever do that as a kid? No, I heard about it and never did it. I've never did that either. But I would just think that you would just take a dump in the bag. No, 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 it's not always. Tom's like, no, Brian, trust me. I've done it millions of times. I, I've done porch well, fire turd bag. So, so in your in your porch fire turd bag experience, d- does the the turd out of the toilet work better? Uh, actually, you it <laughs> comes in a solid out of the toilet, and you, you you better is to put it in a purse or something. You leave it on the sidewalk for someone to pick it up and bring it home. I think they got Dude. a great purse. <laughs> your dad's the one that invented. What is the poop dollar? You know what that is? Where like you take a dollar and you wrap it around a poop. And then they're like, oh, I found a dollar. They pick it up and then they just grab the turd. Yeah. Hershey bar. So (laughs) now the the guy who looks like a living doll is making fun of the guy who looks like his mom drew Spider-Man. And the funny thing is, like, I said Spider-Man, not a (laughs) Spider-Man. And, like, he's dressed like a spider. But spiders have eight legs. He has four. Just just multiply. Six, actually. If you count his legs, I'm sorry. But, and now, so they're just just walking around with a hot bag of turd. (laughs) Like... See, another thing, too. That's the beauty of it. Put it in a bag. Put it in a purse. Something like that. Yeah. Dude, I thought... So you don't have to smell the caca. <laughs> I thought that you would just go and like get like dog dumps. You fall on somebody to say you... Well, it's got to be the right texture. That's what... You know, I thought it was dog poop. That's what I, I always heard. I never thought. Like, I guess it's more degrading. You're just like, huh... Look at my tacos I had last night. You know, like, <laughs> They're all over your shoe. You could tell I had cream corn. <laughs> or your slipper, <laughs> depending on what time of day no, it is. No, they're looking for dessert. Uh-oh. Taco Bell. So, oh, so the, the, one of, the, one of the, uh, the Letterman kids grabs a, a bag, and it has poop in it. Ha. No, it was, so he was setting them up. It was old yeah. man undies, it said. Old man undies, okay. Oh. Oh. <gasps> They and did. They're, so they're the throwing, nerd kids. What are they throwing at them? Eggs. Eggs. Okay. So the jocks that were way too cool. Oh, and there's and the bag of turd. They set on that fire. They have now lit with all that methane gas still coming out of the top of it. I wouldn't breathe next to that. So they throw it at his at the driver's crotch. <laughs> well, they try to throw it at the car, but the window is rolled down, and it's then it like Molotov almost, right into his. He almost burned his. His it, that sucks yeah. so bad because if it did, oh then you go to the God. hospital. Balls. They go. <laughs> they almost made him a eunuch. <laughs> Could you imagine? That? And then like it gets stuck to you, and then the nurses have to go and like scrub it off, and then there's the turds and the fire and the burnt skin. I can imagine that. No, that would smell so much worse than his burnt hair. When when I was a medic, the the uh, what was it the. Um, the nurses at the at the hospital would complain because we would over bandage everything, so they'd always be like, I "Fucking hate it when the medics come in, <laughs> like everything's so over bandaged." It's like, and especially if you use, um, like they have these bandages that have like this, like a beads thing in it, like you could just dump the beads in the wound, but then they Ooh. have to debride the wound out. Uh, oh, yeah. So now the jocks are. Looking for the nerdy kids, and they are now in a drive-in movie theater. Yeah. Oh, they find the kid. Are they watching Night of the Living Dead? I don't know, but how weird is it that that guy's in a car by himself watching a movie? Some maybe he really likes movies. He's like, oh, no, I think he's looking, they're looking for Stella. Usually, when you go to a drive-in movie, you have somebody that goes with you. You know, that's not a good place to go pick up on somebody. No, <laughs> you know. It's it's where you you finish the job. If you you know. Yeah. 
So now all three kids, hey, complete random strangers, get in my car. And then here we go, looking like Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have the Spider-Man and then the doll man. Who was, oh, wait, no. uh, yeah. We've got uh, on the very, very right in the back seat, we've got Pennywise, but not Pennywise. It's Timu wise. He, he, he's the Timu Pennywise. Timu-wise. Like, I wonder what his mom really, she's like, no, trust me. Sheen-wise. You're going to be a, a beautiful porcelain doll. Be like, Mom, that's lame. You ever have a <laughs> a bad costume your parents made for Halloween? Uh, uh, put them on blast. I always get the I always got the ones that came out of the bag. See, Show I off. think that we had to. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. He always gets cool costumes. We never, dude. We always had like kind of make costumes and stuff like that. Yeah, it sucked I for us. <clears throat> wasn't cool. See, this is what people used to do, Levi. They used to go to the drive thru to watch a movie. So, the girl that I was talking about, the Freckles and Beanie girl, she now has pimples. I think she's a witch. So, yeah, or something like that. And now there's uh, more of these Letterman guys. It's still the same three jocks, the cool yeah, the- guys. Are chasing or chasing them down to the drive-thru. They're the looking drive-in. for the nerds. Yeah, looking for the nerds that they found in a car. Like, how creepy is that? You just went through everybody's cars, like looking like, "Hey, what are you guys doing here?" You do that in the drive-in, you might find something. You might catch a few knuckle sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. Catch these hands. Pretty much. <laughs> when they eat the sandwich and they try to bite it, and they, <laughs> and they, and they punch them right into the chin. You're crazy, bro. <laughs> Couldn't have said it so, better. And then he's like still walking around with that bat. You smell like shit, man. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious because he's like, you smell like wieners and shit. And he's like, that's because there was some on my wiener. And he gets all bad. That was the biggest burn he ever said. He was, he was saving that up. He was just like. He's like, I got one. He's like, someday I'm going to be able to use it. Like, all I need use this. is some three nerds to throw a bag of flaming human dump onto a bully. But it has to be perfect timing to go through his window and not on his windshield. Like, oh, if that I ever happens. Right in his- I got a great <laughs> one. He's like, if that ever happens, I've got the sickest burn. It's like an Indian burn. <laughs> Except it's not with Indian. It's in America. Oh, I'm That's sorry. What it is. I'm sorry. Let me update that reference. It's an indigenous people's burn. Yeah, thank you for being more PC. <laughs> <laughs> can you still do that? Well, if you're so, you can't do that anymore. Message from the new generation. You can't even twist their arm Understood. like that. You're just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed to do that. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. You are bullying. That That is a bullying behavior. <laughs> like on The Simpsons, when Bart did that to Lisa, and she's like, ow, oh, that's the worst one. He's like, look at it. And he like got so good that he did a, a heart burn into her <laughs> arm. And so he burnt her, but it was a heart design. So now is the girl outside crying? Did somebody just make fun of her? So she's outside crying and taking yeah. off her gross witch makeup. Oh, yeah. But again, last time I went into a stranger's car, it was a van. <laughs> And I wasn't seen for like three weeks. No, she, so, wants, she wants to yeah. see his switchblade. So apparently, yeah, the guy, the, the driver has a switchblade. The the leather jacket guy from earlier. Hey, remember stranger guy that I've never met in my life? And now I just broke into your car? And yeah, you have a weapon? But so, you seem pretty trustworthy, right? Yeah, so trust oh, you she, so she, she asked the, the, the leather jacket guy, do you want to go see a haunted house? Like... Um, no. Like, do you remember when I paid my dollar seventy five to come into this movie? I, I want to watch the movie. <laughs> yeah. You think a dollar seventy five just grows on trees back in nineteen sixty eight? Yeah, really. <laughs> right. <laughs> my first getting... job, I got a, I got a dollar an hour. Dang. That was in high school. Dang. Save up so I could go out on dates. Well, I mean, that's like nowadays. We were talking about it, like if. If us three go to a movie, it's easy, like a $50, $60 bill. Yeah. You know, and like, we don't get, we get, what do we get? We get like a big thing of popcorn and like, I think one drink and he gets a slushy. I don't think we get candy, do we? We don't get slushy. I I bring a pocket full of tater tots and chicken wings 
And Give me your tots, Brian. <laughs> Give me your tots. I'm freaking hungry. I didn't eat anything all day. <laughs> oh, so now they're at this haunted house. You just served that one up for me. <laughs> and you know it's haunted because... <laughs> yeah, the poopoo in the bag. You know it's haunted because it has overgrown uh, trees. Yeah. There's no lights. There's bad lighting. I'm you surprised there's not fog. You can see that again. <laughs> they don't pay their electricity bill there, obviously. That's all it is to be a haunted house. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not haunted. They're just poor. They're just poor. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, all right. Or nobody or lives here anymore. Your... It's not. It's not that it's haunted. Or breaking into their house because they don't have bring security home. So I had that same exact pen. So he takes a piece of a pen. It was one of those pens where you hold it upright and it's a fully oh yeah. dressed person. Oh, yeah. No, the, yeah. Girl, the girl said one of the guys, I think you're in love with me. So oh, yeah. Cause it, so he so takes yeah, that, you're a complete stranger. that piece of his pen and like opens the, the chain lock. Because it's that easy. Because apparently it's that easy. All you need is no, I do. I just a pen, like a hair clip. Open. A thing of ice. And that's it. And you use a knife and it's... All right. And then they go into a house. So now they're telling the story of the <coughs> Bellows family that owned the house. Dude, these guys are so mid. <laughs> no <laughs> alphas. Yeah, man. They is. They're clearly in a dusty, rusty, crusty, musty house. <laughs> <laughs> Inside. They're probably in Skibbity, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, uh, this, the the man spider and and doll man decide to run up the stairs. They're clearly betas. When they get scared, they run up into even more dangerous territory. You want to be further into the thing that you're scared of. There you go. That seems like a great idea. Uh, they're uh, what's it called? Never mind. I'll think of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're waiting. They're in work. They're in progress. Well, then, it, dude. Like, spider webs are not gross. You know, I'm not afraid of spider webs, I should say. I'm not afraid of spider webs. They're just gross. Well, yeah. That's like I, I meant. They, they creep me out, but I'm not, like, terrified of them. Oh, my God. Because, like, gosh. Darn it's just, it, like, dude. The, the sensation. Something doesn't touch me. Like, it's in my hair. You know? <laughs> those, are, that's, those are my favorite things to see when somebody walks through spider webs and they, like, start Right, like, like brushing their like, arms. It's, like, in front of them. You're like, it's on you. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's that's already on you. It's already done. It feels really bad. I've walked through old houses before that have a lot of spider webs. It it just feels like Yeah, it touched you. Like, 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 like something's crawling over your body. So apparently you have to if you go into the Bellows house and you ask Sarah to tell you a story, oh. it'll be your last story. All right, so I bet they're going to tell Sarah to tell him a story. You want to bet? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> that's a bet I'd be willing to take. They're talking I'd... about a serial killer that poisons children now. So they find a, a false wall. <sighs> because that's how smart they were. Just because they... you have scratch on the wall, that means that there's a hidden door right there. That apparently has a lever? and Like it's that easy? No, I think he had a knife and he was Jimmy in it. Like switch you see, blade? like my wall over there, my dog switch, ran into it. Is that switchblade man? Doing that? that switchblade yeah. does a lot. Yeah, it's a Swiss Army switchblade. Yeah, apparently. so it has everything in it. Yeah, but my walls have scratches from my nerd dog banging into them. I hope somebody breaks in my house. There's like, I know they got a safe right here because there's scratches on the wall. I'd be like, nope. <laughs> it's just our big huge dog. It's just our AC. You know the other side. Right. So now, as any smart kid should do, they go break into a house. Deeper into the hidden wall. Yep. This let's go deeper into the house we're not supposed to be in. Going downstairs into the what, the torture dungeon. Yeah, they're clearly in some like my creepy God. basement. But he's like, It's okay, I got my switchblade with me. Of course, that's all you need. So and it's like not even like a big one, it's like a little three incher. Yeah. You know, like if you got pulled over by the cops, they don't even take that blade away from you. No. They laugh. They're just like, here's a blade. And they. They're looking for the. <laughs> this, they're this. looking for the ghost named Sarah now. They're in her room. And they put it in the gun and they Does it have Sarah with an H or with an A at the end? With an F. With an F? Sarah. 
Oh. <laughs> so P P H F. Mm. P H S. So now he's looking through a door and yeah. he sees a red room. The with, emergency with, generator just kicked back on. I can tell. Ooh, with, with like so, something covered by a veil. Oh, it's a lady. It's an old woman. And I a could pitch I, black Doberman that stares at him. Uh, I, I might go to another room. Right. I would get out of there. Oh, this is what I get for peeing in somebody's closet. And now, now they're gone. I guess. Or he. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. So there's an eerie. Did it say eerie feeling? Yeah. Oh. Floorboards creaking. Now they're coming through the floorboards. Oh, wow. Or somebody's walking towards him. Oh yeah, because he closed the door. Oh. All right, so that's weird. So, oh, and it's and it's doll man. There's a dog too. The Doberman. Oh. He's like, where'd she go? And he's like, who are you talking about? He's like, that old woman and her dog. So then they decide it's time to get out of there. I feel like you have gone well past your point of being able to get out of there. Yeah, you should have never gone in. Yeah. Oh, good thing I got my Zippo lighter right here. <laughs> Like, and so, like a methed out light or two. Like wow, a she like was that the girl? Like she was like like she, here's them running back in and it's like who ordered the chicken? Wow. Like she's wow, that's some talking trash. They deliver in these old houses too. Wow. Hmm. Right, she's just sitting there, and she's like, "Oh, here we go. Where'd all those candles come from? How are they lit already?" Because he probably used that, uh, what you called a messed out lighter. Yeah, it looks like kind of like a lighter thing straight up. Well, so how do they even find it? That's what. And then on top of that, what if the people that live there, they're just like, hey, I had four hours left on my calendar, or my calendar, my <laughs> candle. On, on my calendar. It's a timed calendar. Well, that's what, did you know that they have the the alarms for the candles? I didn't know that. Like it's this weird thing. Like it, it has a lid that closes, and so the lid pushes up against the wax, and then when the wax burns past that, it closes on it. So they have automatic candle. It was like back in you know when, what kings and queens and wow, yeah, it was like the whole thing. It looked like a ring that you would take some, some no shots with. But you so, put it on the candle and it keeps pressure. And then as soon as the wax burns, it falls and closes it. So they find a book of scary stories. Written in children's blood. Oh my God. That's it's written in adrenochrome. <laughs> 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 this is what the, that's what they do with the adrenochrome that, that people don't drink. Oh, I'm full. Thank you. I'm full. You can use that as ink now. Let's write let's, a book. With let's it. write a book. We're going to scare so people. So that way the book is always scary. <laughs> Do you know what this <laughs> book's made out of? Real. <laughs> it's the <laughs> essence of people. Dude. It, the book never gets old either. <laughs> no cap. Full of riz. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> never mid. <laughs> you want to sit over here? Okay. Never mid. This got old really, really quick, so uh, we're just going to show off the podcast right now. <laughs> oh, so then the bad guys or the jocks, yeah, they go to the house. Oh, and the girl, that was one of their sisters. And he's like, you can just be with them. And one of the jocks decides to take the girl that was in the front seat and throws her down to the basement. Yeah. So are they at the after the girl now, Stella? She was just so scared of those little tiny cobwebs. She yeah. was like, oh no, get them off of me. Ah! And it was stuck in them. Well, I think they're just after those kids. I'd be yeah. mad too. Mm-hmm. Early this evening, I had a... See, there'd be one thing to have a pile of dung thrown at your balls. And then another thing to have your pants lit on fire right yeah. by your balls. So then have both of them at the same time, that's the worst. And then, inside your car... That's like a s'more. You ever burnt popcorn <laughs> in a microwave? <laughs> that smell doesn't leave. No, it doesn't. He probably reeks right now. <laughs> I bet, dude. 
No way. It, I bet he's. it's one of those. Like uh, it starts a single car and the car explodes the cigarette in it. <laughs> it it's, oh, yeah. the, it's that uh, dodgeball reaction. Nobody makes me smell like poop. <laughs> um, uh, what? I just. To back to the when he threw the dung bag in the car on fire. What if it went under it and just got the gasoline pump and it just <laughs> boom? That's a different. That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the movie I like would it. Be done. <laughs> it would literally be done. This would be a movie about three kids running from felonies <laughs> and murder. We're talking about a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about uh, guess so um, burnt they, uh. Metal. Leave the house, and and they and the, wrote some mean words on a car. Yeah, the bullies put a racial slur. That was on, pretty mean on the car. Yeah, for somebody uh, of you know Hispanic descent. Yeah, there you go. Did somebody say it's like farting? What? In a milk cart and drinking it. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> drinking a fart. That's what it said. So you farted in a milk jug, and then you kept the milk, and then you just drink it from it's, fifth grade? It's like a cupcake. And, and a gift that like, keeps on you giving. Like farts. All right. And I just mix it up, and it turns into frosting. In a jug. So, so they've escaped. Yeah, so they... Escaped the basement. And yeah, then so again, they, this girl, she doesn't really choose. She doesn't make really good decisions at all. No, she lets the guy they just met at the drive th- uh, the drive through uh, or drive in uh, who has a switchblade who has a switchblade Ooh. come to her house and he can pick locks and he has a switchblade yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's a loner I, did he learn all these tricks because he just was like I I never knew how to do that I need to learn how to do this right so or she's like hey complete stranger with a switchblade who's a loner and has a knife did he have a life of crime. Possibly. Why don't you come to my house? Yeah. I don't know how to get paid on my car, but I know how to Women like the bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess she's a bad girl. Look, on her mirror, she has a... What are the slingshot that she made? She's like, don't mess with this. This is Bart Simpson's. So now he pulls out. He's like, hey, you like comic books too? You are a nerd. And then turns around and leaves. Well, he's he's the uh, the rule breaker with a heart of gold. He's like, you think I just learned how to pick locks from <laughs> studying? He's like, I learned all that from reading comic books. <laughs> I point out the girl's dad was passed out on the recliner. Yeah, so he's the the, the classic uh, like drunken dad it's portrayal normal. from like the sixties and the seventies. Dude, my kid is screwed. I'm a freaking night owl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I remember staying at my friend's houses and his parents were like, all right, we're going to go to bed. We're just like, all right, <laughs> smell you later. And we'd stay up, you know? Yeah. So then she just leaves and she's like, okay, just go downstairs to the basement. It's the third door on the left. Like, I trust you to walk around my house without knowing anybody. You don't steal anything. Right? Or, yeah. <laughs> you just helped me break into a house earlier this evening. Yeah. <laughs> So she stole the book. So, yeah, she's got the book. And this, this is the book that belongs to Sarah Bellows. How do you know that? Because it says that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this book belongs to Sarah Bellows. I didn't know it was the real one. I thought it was somebody else. How many Sarah Bellows do you know? Um, the one from this movie. About 12. <laughs> I was saying it's like, this book belongs to Brian with a B. I'd be at, like. At this point, only one. Yeah. It's like going to your like office. Oh, so there's a story written, and then there's blank pages. Harold is this next story. Yeah. Oh, All and right. she can wipe the blood or the ink. It's probably like those expensive, like well, uh, everything's written in blood. Yeah, it's Kids it's blood. it's literally written in fresh blood. Yeah. Let's see, it is fresh. It still has the adrenaline it, in it. It must be a supernatural book because apparently you can open it and it didn't smear. But whose was it? Harold. <laughs> Harold. The book didn't belong to Harold? Sarah Bellows. <laughs> so she wrote in her own blood? It's probably Harold's blood. <laughs> Wait, that guy's name's Harold. Yeah. 
The nerd dude who was so tough and he beat up the Jack, the Scarecrow. Yeah. So he gets home. Harold gets home and he and he's uh, yelled at by his dad for not delivering eggs to the Wolvertons. And being drunk. And being drunk. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, how do you know I'm drunk? You haven't even seen me. Mm-hmm. So now he's mad. Ew, that was his scarecrow that he, he beat, beat up. up his own, so he so he hates his dad. That's why he beat up the scarecrow. This will teach you, Dad. I'm gonna beat up your scarecrow. He should know scare, scarecrows are powerful. They'll get you. But yeah. he hated the scarecrow all of his life. Oh, so now we're back to the girl reading it. Oh, so what she's reading is happening to Harold now. Oh, so it's fresh. It's literally just coming in. Oh wait, is his name Tommy? His dad's name's Harold. Who the hell is Harold? I. So his name is Tommy, I believe. And maybe the scarecrow is named Harold. See, I'd just be mad if my name was Harold. I'd be like, Dad, I'm not a 97 year old man. I, had, I, I was about to say or a football or have a football shaped head, but that's Hey Arnold. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> wrong show. Hey Arnold. Hey All right, Arnold. So now this dude grabs a freaking basket of eggs. Anthony, if I if you're ever like, oh shoot, Brian needed eggs. It's okay, just give them to me tomorrow morning. All right? Yeah, it's fine. Don't yeah. come at my house when you're like, I'm not. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's I'm, I'm in bed, I'm sleeping, but no, I'll go, go cook home, some eggs right now. Change your change your fire turd pants. <laughs> <laughs> you're smart. Oh, it's midnight. I'm gonna go to bed. Ding dong. I just yeah. Tommy's the kid. <laughs> yep. So it's the whole thing of what? Harold is the scarecrow that he beat up because he's so tough. Maybe that scarecrow is not dead. No, the scarecrow's back and not alive. That's a good. That's a scary scarecrow. Wolf is like, this is what you get, Harold. I'm a man now. I pee standing up. (laughs) He hits him with the bat. Oh, Harold just blinked. Oh, Harold just opened his mouth. Here it comes. Why is Tommy limping? He's probably as thankful that his that he's still intact. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. thanks. I could have lost. Guy. I could have lost so much. <laughs> so much. If it just burnt a hole right there, so it's just so like assless chaps. He's wearing wienerless pants. Yeah, <laughs> it's like those like those worms yeah. for the eunuch in your life. <laughs> Ass blasters. <laughs> he's just not wearing underwear at all. <laughs> probably burn a hole through him. And they're like, usually it's backwards after you eat too much Del Taco. <laughs> you just blow holes through your pants. Oh, so now, is this turned into an infinite corn field? I guess. he's wa- He's been walking for a while. Now we're into the children of the corn again. So now he's walking. He's like, dude, I've lived in this house for years, and it's never taken me this long to get the Wisconsin Tindermans <laughs> family. <laughs> to the Wolvertons. Yeah, I was about to say, how many syllables is in that, peoples? <laughs> the Wolverton toss one skeins. <laughs> we all know you get in, you walk into a cornfield and you're lost. You can't find a way out. So now he sees the scarecrow walking at him and runs away. He was so tough earlier today, though. He was, yeah. Oh, he doesn't have his bat. I think even if he had his bat, he'd be running Oh, away. look, there's a bat right there. And he tripped over it. What so a loser. This scarecrow is like oh, kind of like waddling at him. Man, this scarecrow is so beta. He's like, like literally all he has to do is be faster than the scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's not alpha, man. He's mid at best. Oh. The door oh. Scarecrow stabs him in the stomach. Backwards, though. With the with a pitchfork. But that's not blood that came out of him. It's... Hey, 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 hey. So now he's walking and coughing. (laughs) And he's coughing up more hay? Yeah. Where'd the eggs go? So now he's choking on hay. And he's pulling hay out of his mouth. Ew. Gross. (laughs) So disgusting. Like when you drain your, uh, when you snake your shower. Yeah. Mm. Get that, that hair clump. Oh, so now he's turned into freaking Teen Wolf. Is he hey. becoming a scarecrow? He is. Oh. Oh, he's having hay come out of his ears and his mouth and out of his wrists. No, he's I a scarecrow. I can ears and mouth and nose. 
Like, yeah. And then we get a shot of him shooting hay out of his mouth at the camera. I mean, we don't know. He could be alive. Uh, All right. <laughs> you live I mean, to play another day. Not, not in the way that you would want to be, though. Not the way we think of being alive. We well, couldn't break his bones. I think, I think he's a zombie type thing. And now he's at. Oh, the police oh. officer. Oh, the other guy who always plays cop movies. Yeah. Well, he, he was in a bunch of lawyer shows too. He looks like he was a on Ally McBeal. Ken Arnold. <laughs> Ken Arnold would have been so much cooler. The, the, this is Gil Bellows. He was uh, <laughs> he was on Ally McBeal. Damn it! I just remember that show. All right, so now the police officer's pressing up on the. I, on I the, thought that kid looked like he was Indian. Yeah, I did too. But apparently, I mean, he still very well could be. I mean, from a small town. They probably think everybody dark skinned is uh, right. coming to take their jobs. I mean, <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> That's so much. Like, anybody who has any kind of permanent tan year round, they're coming to take our jobs. They took our jobs. <laughs> oh, so now they're now the nerds are in. The auditorium. Yeah. They just figured out that people are being turned into scarecrows. So she told the story in front of the book, and the book took it in. Well, she read the book. Well, yeah. So when she read the story, it was happening. Yeah. And so now they're saying that Tommy's missing, but the story was that Tommy turned into the scarecrow. Yeah. She had Tommy. Yeah. So now the boys are like, no, this doesn't make any sense. You'll be missed. Scarecrows are forever. They are. <laughs> but here's a question. Who was Harold before? <laughs> forever. What if, um, what's his name? Tommy got crucified right there. To like, oh, what thing it became the actual scarecrow? I, th- I think it kind of did, actually. Right, that'd be weird if like he all of a sudden... The, the he beat the guy up unnecessarily and then the guy got even now he's the next scarecrow dude look at that are they just in somebody else's property yeah really they're like walking across the court the uh, uh across the the fields and oh they they see a group of people oh they're over by harold's house tommy's tommy's sorry why do i keep saying the scarecrow's but name? look at that oh see so then here we go. He's got now the scarecrow is hanging up. And it looks like he's wearing Tommy's he's, letterman. Yeah. And he's got a fresh pair of denim on. Oh, I'm, and it has a different face. I'm right. It's a new scarecrow. <laughs> yep. So now here it is. Yep. Look at that drip that he's risen up, bruh. <laughs> looks like a fresh new. Like he ate up that clothes. A fresh new dripped up scarecrow. Risk <laughs> <laughs> because he got turned into a scarecrow and crucified by a scarecrow. It looks like he was doing the splits. Well, yeah. A, um, what those checkered jackets? Those dumb checkered jackets. Well, I mean, this was back in '68, so that was probably the <laughs> the new bus and clothes back then. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the Letterman jackets like that? Yeah, that's what those were, the cool guys wore those. Yeah, the cool guys. Oh, so now the house during the day it looks nice. It's a nice red painted house. Yeah, and everything. It just doesn't have any external lighting whatsoever. Yeah, they want it to be off the. Either. <laughs> they want to be off the grid, and that's what it was. That's very true. It's like as soon as night falls, I don't want anybody to know I'm here. Exactly. It's like, okay, but you know you're going to be known around town as a haunted house. <laughs> that's a willing. That's a chance I'm willing to that's take. A chance I'm willing to take. All right, Carl. <laughs> that's what I got to look for in real estate. One of these places. Do it. No like, electricity bill. Do you have anything that looks really good during the day, but then it scares the piss out of kids during the night? Nobody's going to bother me. That's the one I'm looking for. <laughs> Is there any houses that are off the grid but yet still in the same neighborhood with kids? <laughs> Does this house have a white van on with and with tinted windows? Of course. <laughs> oh, so now the girl's talking to her dad. The girl's talking to the the bald the dad. Yeah, that he has to go back to work. 
But no, he's can't telling see her that he doesn't want her going out since Tommy's missing. Yeah. It looks like he has a shirt. Um, what's it called? A shirt, one of those, a button-up shirt, and a jacket. He's layered up for sure. He is. That's He's what got you do. A shirt, a flannel, and then a jacket. Got a zip point on there. Uh oh. So then the, it was a turd burglar. The, the, That's his sister that was in the front seat. Yeah. That's even so much grosser because now you smelt your brother's fresh turd that he had this morning <laughs> and a potential would have got on you. That, That's that is, so gross. That is a risk he was willing to take <clears throat> to get revenge on his enemies. Dude. That kid's so jacked up. Nobody is out of question. So she has a pimple on her face. She decided to become collateral damage. It's fair I game. Remember, I remember reading this story. So I <laughs> I already know what's gonna happen with this one. This was this was one of the really, really good stories. Obviously, like if it's stuck with you, then you remember this story. Uh I'm trying to remember. Okay, so we see Uh oh the big toe. The she opens up she opens up the book and it's a blank page that starts <laughs> getting written. Yeah. So, so she then, rips the page and, and it's still writing. Oh, rips it out again. Oh, there you go. So she's going to rip and rip and rip. All right. You know, the first four pages I ripped and it didn't work. You you just stop? I don't think it would. Yeah. I'd hurry and try to write it. Be like, the end. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the story would go, nice try. No more and then. <laughs> no more and then. <laughs> oh, so now she's got to get her freaking she's generic got, stranger things walkie talkies. she got her walkie, yeah. Like, these ones only can talk up to five feet away. You're like, why can't you just talk normal then? <laughs> it's because you take the fun out of it. You know, I can hear you. <laughs> right? This is back when walkies had range. <gasps> I remember this story. Yeah, so uh, this was the doll guy. Doll man is looking the big in a... big toe. Like, they're looking oh, through yeah, the yeah, toe. Yeah. Looking yeah. at a red crock pot. Oh, they're going to make a stew out of it? And something's rising to the top. Uh, it looks, looks like, like a sausage. A turd. <laughs> and oh. they're eating it. He's like, oh, calm down. And See, so, and this is another disgusting-ass thing. Geez. Anthony, if you ever went home and there was a pot of stew in your fridge, would you be like, oh, I'm just going to eat it cold? Like, no, it's, what I, is it? Carpaccio? I, what I, is the fuck? What's, what's that? The gazpacho? Yeah. Gazpacho. The cold yeah. soup, yeah. Nope. It's a cold no? soup. Nope. Don't ever why why would you eat cold soup? I mean, if it's if it's a hot day and you need something to cool you down. Mm. It's, it's cold water. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so hot and I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna mix both of them together. Right? Like he's eating like cold beef stew. Yeah. And you know in four hours he's gonna be beef stewing it up in his room. He's also he's gonna he's gonna eat he's gonna eat a toe. It looks like he was going to eat that turd that his friend dug out of the toilet. <laughs> That's the real scary story. Well, the turd that came back to turd. They they cooked it. <laughs> nice and mushy. That's what the fire was for. <laughs> they like, put they have... put a turd in that stew? You can't have <laughs> a cold like, turd. Look, it's right there. Oh it's coming God. up again. Boop, 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 boop. That's three. So now he's taking another uh, another spoonful. God, and he took the biggest bite of something. Of this like thick meat. That he's now carefully chewing. I hope it's meat. And he's like, oh, hold on. Well, Let me pull this out. It's meat, but it's Here. he's about to be a cannibal. Oh, he's a cannibal. He's, yeah. he's, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> there's an, an eyeball. eyeball. Oh, my God. Uh. And, and also a toe. Gross. A toe and an eyeball. I'm surprised that he's not like, oh, mom tricked me. It's this isn't a real eyeball. You. Like on Tropic Thunder, where he's like, this is just cherry juice. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. And he's like, this is just, and he's like, uh, he's eating all that blood. That's like the, that's just like they stew they have in New Orleans. They, they put everything in them. Oh, gumbo? Gumbo, yeah, everything's in there. Gumbo's all right. Yeah. If you say anything about it, I'm never going to eat gumbo again. No, no it's, it's, I, I no. liked it. I had it when I was in New oh, Orleans. Oh, yeah, it's like I rice, potatoes, yeah. sausage, corn. I thought you were like, no, everything. Tra no, traditionally, everything. But gumbo can be anything you have around the house yeah. that you chicken beaks yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> like anything you want to put in your gumbo uh oh so now she's saying that he's hearing who took my toe and he's like nope i didn't hear it and you're just like little do you know you're the one that's saying it and so guess what he is hearing it 
Ew, they just ugh, gave I'd me. be mad too if so now, bit my toe. Now right? He's, he's, he's like, going, you'll get this later for supper. He's, he's, he's running to his room when he should be getting out of the house. Okay. So, so now he's going to put his head against the door. This is the safest of the things to do. And he hears floorboards creaking. Right in the I ear. Also Unless put somebody's my... got a knife on the other side. Switchblade man. Yeah. Right, right at the right other ear. He's like, don't worry, guys. I got a switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help. Cards out the perfect, like, uh, chalk outline. The wall. He jumps it. Oh, well, here comes some uh, social justice warrior protester from 2024. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're stomping you're, through the house. You can't be talking to us that way. Um, why did you? <laughs> t- how c- can you t- please tell the audience why you have had to be so specific? Because look, it's just this person that came through that's a zombie. Looks like they haven't showered in, I don't know, a minimum of 100 years. <laughs> Why is it in the, like, it's like the using doctor's a, blouse, the white... Using caca um, as, as, like, as cologne. <laughs> <laughs> the white patient's blouse and, like, the messed up hair. If you're so old that your toe falls off. Yes. I think... I think it's, it's fair game. It's, it's not going to come back on. If, if yeah. somebody wants to eat it, they're going to. Right? Like, well, I found it. Like clearly, law. it's mine. You see, it fits my like, toe right here. Rule oh. of salvage. You snooze, you lose. I just really want whoever it is to walk in and be like, uh, "Sorry, sorry, sorry to bother you. Can I have you? Have you seen my toe? By any chance, were your parents jerks and made a in nice belly. pot made, made of a, beef stew? Had one made of my a toe eyeballs soup? in it, and had my eyeball in there too. I just need it back. I'm, some I'm, cheesy I'm, flavor around it. Uh, yeah, I'm, a, yeah. I, I'm not really trying to fight you. I just, I just want it back. It's like you know how my balance has been hindered since I lost my toe. Oh yeah, do you know um that it looks a bit too big for your toe? It has it has a bit of cheese around it. I think that might be mine. Watch oh. out for the turd though. There's also one in there. <laughs> He's like, no, but I had a nice turd stew. Just <laughs> <laughs> like, oh here it is. He's like, oh no, see that's a thumb. That's not so my now big toe. They do He's get gonna confused. Peer over the the top of the bed and gets <gasps> drugged back under the bed. Right by underneath it. This like skin mask looking guy. Is Jason in there too? <sighs> Somebody buff is. And Dude, how big is this bed? I know. Like when he gets pulled back, like the, that bed is obviously not that long. Even if it went lengthwise. That drug looked like he was in Beetlejuice's. It, was he hometown. getting pulled back into the into the wall? Or down into the ground. Maybe we don't need a phone to call up. So they they pulled the bed out. The ankle the uh, leather jacket guy and the girl and nails. And he there you see the nail scratches right to the wall. My nails would never do that, dude. I swear, my nails would literally they just pop off. Mm -hmm. So now the town's looking what for Tommy? Tommy. Uh, yeah. Tommy's a scarecrow now. Tommy's a scarecrow. They're still looking for the scarecrow. No. So now they're back at the uh at the drive in. And did you see how the drive in had two movie screens? I know, yeah. Uh that's weird. Yeah. That was high class. I never saw one like that when I grew up. Yeah, normally you just have one and they just do a double feature, right? Yeah, you know how yeah. pissed up you're like, all right, we have a double feature tonight. Like, yes, there's like one on here and one on there. I'd be like, what? What if I want to watch no, both? Exactly. <laughs> just park in the middle. <laughs> hopefully, like you just have lazy eyes. Split screen. You're the rain man. Split <laughs> you screen. Just do it. There's like one. Right that way. Yeah. Oh, so now just cry it. Yeah. Oh, because so, Augie's gone. Augie is the guy that got drug under the bed. Yeah, that's a, he's part of the story. Yeah, so he's, he's now like, in the story. It. Let me see the book. It's a stale joke. Guess what, Sarah? Uh, and then he looks like a bugler. He looks like the dude from, uh, was it Project X? Where those high school kids oh, to yeah. that party? I love that movie. <laughs> I know it, it got review bombed. So messed so up. That's a true story, though. It's it's a great movie. Have you seen the... Then it happened again in Australia or New Zealand. No. Dude. Mm-hmm. Why do they still care about that? Should um, be in everything gets berated. Why do they still care about that crucified Tommy boy? You don't think it's freaky? 
He was a popular guy, maybe, you know. Not to them. But not to them. Yeah, but Only still, if all of a sudden, this guy last night, I literally threw a bag of human dump fire on his balls. Yeah. And now today, <laughs> he's transformed into a hundred-year-old scarecrow. How did that happen? I'll just say womp womp. I would like to know. It's the mysteries and of then fire. Your homeboy Augie just got drug on her bed, and his last thing he ate before he died was a human's toe. Yeah, that's messed up. So mm-hmm. maybe the toe came from Tommy. Ooh. So do you think he's like behind the bed, and and whatever monsters back there is like he's just isn't upside down. Like, he sees what was that dude's name? Like. Will? Oh yeah, <laughs> Will. He's like, yeah, Will he's, here, he's Will. Won't or, he? And it's like, and, and the monster's just like, look, I don't want to be a jerk. You can leave when you poop it out, but I just need it. I, I just need it back. He's like, no, my friend was the one that fished the turd out. I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so now you gotta uh, here. I left you gloves. He's like, you do your thing. I'll then be he says, over here. Then he says, I don't understand it. Why did you fish your turd out with? F- <laughs> it's just a joke that living people do. <laughs> So we're still at the I just to touch drive-in. You. And then why'd they park? Look at where they parked. Yeah, I know. When the group was right there. They literally parked like 100 yards away from them. They're so, like, well, let's walk up to do... Now they have the, the brilliant idea to set the book on fire in a, in a drum. What about if... Uh, and it's happening. What if he's behind the bed to prank all his friends? And he just He just stays there. He never moves. And then the police just come and raid his house and take and he's, all of his belongings. And his. He's, he's invisible, so no one knows he's there. So apparently the book won't burn. That was a good ripping and roaring fire, too. I know. You I was about to say, oh, that's our movie. It's all over. I was about to say, oh, well, they must be in downtown uh, Bay Area. <laughs> all those <laughs> all those fires and those drums. You know when you... uh That's where so- you hear the, the best acapella groups. <laughs> So when he ripped, <laughs> especially the, the guys that lose their cojones, <laughs> when acapella. They, when they ripped the page, <laughs> um, it transferred on the next page. So what if they just ripped out all of those pages? So it's all on just this one page. Well, now they're going through. What if it just had an endless flow of pages? Yeah. Well, she did rip out a ton, and it's there's still a ripped. roster of a bunch of names and people. Yeah. So now they're in a library. A library. Oh, how do they say it? A library. It's called a library, you idiot. A library. But <laughs> what's that in the show where there's like a library? They're like, or he said library. And he's like, <laughs> it's a library. And he gets all pissed. So now they're going through the. Brain salt. They're going through whatever the archive newspapers and looking for anybody who has the name of Sarah and whatever. Yep. I was when you said when you said library, I was just thinking of community when uh when Troy and Abed had to turn in their Spanish final. And oh. La Teca, La Teca, La Biblioteca. I so he's like, You can't be in here. He's like, It's all terrain, dummy and drives off and he's like, What? That's not what that means. So I was doing research again. Like I'd be like, you know what, guys? This is the last season of our childhood. We need to do something crazy. Like, could you imagine if you lived this? Like, dude, remember that one summer where all of our friends got murdered and turned into scarecrows and that flaming dog shit hit him right in his balls? <laughs> like, we're never going to top that again. Unless we go next summer is even crazier where we have to commit a murder by ourselves. <laughs> what? Commit a murder of somebody's testicles? <laughs> it was something like, I remember what you, I still remember what you did last summer. Yeah. How do you top that summer? Yeah. yeah, you're always gonna have that adrenaline high, like, oh, I need it, baby, I need it. <laughs> so now there's a new one. There's a new one. It's called the Wendigo. Oh wait, no, this is the old one. Ephraim, you know it's old because that's their name, Ephraim. Yeah. Yeah. If it was somebody like, you know, Deshawn or something, that'd be like today. <laughs> but Ephraim and Malcolm Lee. Yeah. And some old biblical names. Uh oh. Now right. a new one's being written. Uh, there's a new one. She's writing another story. This is uh... the red spot. I hope this isn't a uh, a monthly. The ghost, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Disney made that movie. 
it's called no, the Red Panda. It. They bought it. What if all of a sudden? <laughs> what if all of a sudden? Dude, oh. um, uh, somebody takes. Never mind. I just, I just had it in my head. Look at how fast oh she freaking writes. I know. Talk and how beautiful her handwriting is. This is automatic writing, dude. This is better than Chat GPT. I know. This no is- cap. All, all Diddy. No. <laughs> just kidding. You should, you should get this app because, dude, you just put your pen down and go when you get to your. Like, rapture. all right, kids, I need you to come up here and say something offensive to me, and then watch your, watch your story happen. So what then if- we we see the girl. Uh, oh, the, the the man spider's sister trying to cover up the spider bite. What if she still thinks it's a pimple? Sorry. What if she's the, a spider? What if at the end of the book it's like, um, ha, uh, he has a free monthly premium for no murders in the past in the next month. Yeah. What about the end? It's like this was just a joke. <laughs> what if at the end it's gonna be like, uh, get so. your free monthly premium for no, for only nine ninety nine a month. She yeah that Man. that is obviously not a pimple. She clearly has the mumps. <laughs> she's she's oh. gonna try to. She's gonna try to like squeeze a spider Dude, bite like that. Yesterday it was a pimple, and now it looks like a freaking like a tumor on your face. This is one of those things that gets gets into people, and then it's alien comes out of their skin. That's what I'm saying. This is the Doctor Pimple Popper. I'm waiting for that Asian woman to show up, and be like, "Hey, hey, <laughs> this is a bilirubitoma or whatever." Mom, why are you making mine? No. You know, just waiting for anything. But we all know what's going to happen. So now the kids are running through the high school. See, and yeah, and why does the pimple keep changing every time I we know. look at it? It is now more, like grosser and grosser. Like it gets redder and it's redder. Big, it's, it's like big. that. If I couldn't pop a pimple, like when I was younger, like I didn't have bad acne. Like I had some friends. I was like, sweet Jesus. And I was like, can you borrow your razor, bro? And I'd be like. No, <laughs> like if I had a, if that was on my face right there. Oh, but now it's crawling like it's the the alien. Is I know yeah, somebody's something stomach. in there. Something it's like a hair, it's it's like a, ingrown like hair. a worm under there or something. Or it's gonna be a is, tarantula. It, it does David the gnome live in her face? She just grows some body hair. It just instantly turn into a full grown beard. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's about to meet it now. Yeah, really. It's Here like we go. It, she's about to give birth she's to a crowning she's whatever's in her it. face. It looks like she got punched so hard. Oh, it's the hair, her. the hair reacted. Oh, oh, it's a spider. And here it goes. Oh, it Not is. one. It's spiders. They laid eggs on her face. Ugh. In her face. You don't in remember that face. story? I do remember that story. Yeah. As soon as I saw that pimp on her face, I was like, I know where this is going. And now she's in the bathroom in the dark with a bunch of spiders. Okay. this I, I would wish myself dead. Not Dude. cool. On her face. Well, if the brother does, like, I got him, sis. It just starts monkey stomping her cheek. (laughs) (laughs) Those aren't spiders. That's my face. (laughs) I'm going to save you. He's like, get this. And he just grabs toilet water and throws on her. He's like, why was the toilet water lumpy? Why was the toilet water lumpy? We brought it from home. (laughs) We know why. Got it in the toilet. It's so lumpy. It's so lumpy, I'm going to die. He's like, I got you, sis. And gives her a swirly. <laughs> Trust me. In the in the spider bite. Yeah, you. She's screaming. Oh, Get them oh, off yeah. me! Get them off and, me! And now she's Ew. got like bumps on her neck and, and her arms. Like that's messed up. When the spiders are leaving, there's like bite her on your way out. She does have the mumps. Like, like in uh, what the other guys? One of those homeless guys were like, "You're not gonna have." An orgy in my car. They're just like, wipe your balls on the way out of your car. <laughs> and everybody's wiping their dirty butts and wieners on the car when they were leaving. Oh, yeah. That's what the spiders are doing. They're just like, bite her when you're leaving. They call it a soup kitchen. Bite her on the... <laughs> Levi. They're like, oh, just bite it. Just bite so it. Now she has hundreds of spider bites on her. It's not bad enough that you had hundreds of spiders come out of your face. No, no touch. Now you have hundreds of spider bites all over you. Yeah. What are you going to try to play it off? Like... No, it's chicken pox. No, it's not. You graduated from high school already. Yeah. You don't have chicken pox. So. It reminds me of Suicide Squad. Does it? Yeah. Because then all those pimples on the shirt. You had all those pimples on your shirt? No. Like that Suicide Squad character with all those 
Tim was on the shirt. Okay, Suicide Squad? Yeah. With the star? Okay. With pimples on the face. So now they're at... Uh, oh, Lulu, they're looking for Lulu Baptiste. Louie Louie. And they were watching those TV. You know when you had that TV back in the day, you were balling? Oh, yeah, they, see, this is... Uh, I have four channels. This is one of those classic examples of the, the magical black woman. Like, oh, look at me! It's it's that story writing thing where, like, you have the you have the you have the black woman that what will magically that solve really? all your problems. Yeah, and then here it is. Here's the black woman that has Parkinson's disease. <laughs> it's, she's she's blind, and it's that girl in from uh, Stranger Things that um just kept spewing out random words. Oh yeah, one to the left, one to Eleven's the left. mom. Oh yeah. Jane. Oh, something. But she's sitting there like, oh. Oh, so now, again, like, how many times, Anthony, me and you are friends. How many times have I ever gone over to your house and be like, hey, I'm just going to start looking around your stuff, digging through your drawers, and digging through, like, grabbing music box off of shelves and looking at everything? You see this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You couldn't, I don't even know where your silverware is in your house. <laughs> like, don't, don't ask blind people if they see that. You know? That, that would be rude. Don't, well, don't do think that. about this. Stevie Wonder, <laughs> he has two kids that he has to pay child support for that he has never even seen. It's not his fault. <laughs> wow. Wow, Brian. Oh. You can still be a dad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Brian. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, these kids are just bastard kids that are growing up and they're breaking into people's houses and, and, and just touching just going, their stuff. Dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And the blind woman's like, I know you're touching that music box. <laughs> like, stop touching my stuff. She's like, you know that one of my senses is heightened because one of my senses is gone. <laughs> you know I see you. Yeah. She's like, you know my nickname in high school is Daredevil. <laughs> what if a blind person saw that? Who might have? So, so she, she, so the the girl, the girl with the glasses hands her the book and she starts to have a an emotional reaction to it. And she's like, give her this. Just by, and she does that, like that, that blind person touch, like the whole hand, <laughs> like they're feeling. Can I come over and touch your face later? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah. But now, so what? She's trying to give the music box to the dead girl. So apparently there, she says, there's no magic in this book. There is only rage. <laughs> it's like, dun, dun, I won't do what you tell me. All of a sudden they start singing. Bulls on parade. <laughs> like, oh, how come she was so mad? It's like oh. I'm, I'm hearing something. We rally round a family <laughs> with a pocket full of shells. She's so like, you know, she probably made fun of Sarah Bellows when she was younger. Yeah, she looks like a bully. And I hope Sarah Bellows gave her the blindness. <laughs> oh, geez. Ha ha ha! Womp 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 womp. Yeah, that's what I was. She looks like. I don't know if this is even possible. Like an even worse Whoopi Goldberg. Okay, so she knew Sarah, and Sarah Told hung you. herself in the house. Do you have to sit down on the toilet to pee when you're blind? Maybe. Unless you... You have to put stuff on the outside of the toilet, like Braille, you know, where they can use their fingertips. Flush here. <laughs> yeah, they know where the, the lid is. that thing where it's like... writing on the top. The scariest thing for a blind person is like... If they read "Do Not Touch" and they're just like, oh. <laughs> it's too late. You know how many times I got asked if I knew Braille because I did sign language? Like, you know, those are two different things. All oh, yeah. the time, I was like, "Oh, dude, I'm a sign language." They're like, "Oh, so you know how to read Braille?" I'm like, "No." All right. You know who knows how to read read Braille? Blind people. Oh, say so no sign language too. You're just like, what? It defeats the purpose of sign no. language. Yeah. Could you imagine if you were fluent in sign language and you were blind? Like, oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Dude. All right, so now where? Oh, we're at the hospital. We're at the hospital, and they're trying to go into there. See, and here's the thing, too. Uh, Anthony, you might have heard this thing. Probably not, though. It's not that big. It's called HIPAA laws. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. heard of those? But, I okay, HIPAA did not exist. Until 2011? Shut the hell up. 
2011? No, I, no, no. You had patient confidentiality rules. Yeah. But they were they were packaged under a different law. Shut HIPAA, up. Like, really? H- HIPAA as we know it. With the civil penalties that it carries, uh, or you know, and on your license and all that, um, that didn't come around till like 2011, 2010. Yeah. All right, never mind. I was about to say you could just go into any hospital back in 1968 and be like, "Hey, uh, but no, you couldn't do that." You ever heard of this patient? I'd like all their files, please. So thank you. Because look, the kids just got it. I mean, there's still laws that said you couldn't do that. If you worked in a hospital back in the 70s, 80s, like I did. You can you couldn't even access your own records, dude. One time, somebody else had to. Anthony, so. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've told you this story that we went to a hospital one time and it was attached to an old folks home, and like we got lost and like my friend and I went into a basement and the basement went under the street <clears throat> to the hospital of the old folks home. Yeah, it's like we were like worried, like we couldn't find back to the old folks home. So there's a hospital, and then. Mm-hmm. You get oh, the like, basement, and then there's... Like an underground walkway. That goes across the street or under I, the street. I've worked at places like that. And then that. up, there's the old folks' home. We were at the old folks' home, and we couldn't remember what floor we were on. And then we're just like, I don't know, the basement? <laughs> and so we went, and we're just like, dude, this is such a long walk. And then we're at the hospital. The security guards started chasing us. This old woman grabbed my hand and, like, French kissed. She's like, oh, I thought you were dead in the fire. And I was like, my God. <laughs> yeah, dude. We got kicked out of there like... My best friend's mom's like, guess what? Now you never get to see your grandpa again because you're kicked out and you can't go to the old folks' home anymore. And we're like, <laughs> dude, this messed up, man. You should have messed with that lady and been like, dude. I am dead. Dude, yeah, for 17 and, years. And so now this, what, this what's going on. is like these kids are now running amok yeah. in the hospital. Yes, they are. Because they don't know where they're at. They're sneaking into the hospital. All of a sudden, and now, he comes up and he's on the roof. Oh, yeah, pretty sure know, I wasn't here. He Now he locks himself out and he's stuck on the roof. Aunt Vern? And, that, and he walks He walks up to some uh, orderlies. And see, the orderlies are just standing there. Okay, there's a 16-year-old boy just walking over there. Yeah. Like, hey, did you ever hear the world champion in 73? Who hasn't even happened yet? So now he's trying to, like, play it cool and, like, oh. walk and run into the hospital, but they've already spotted him. But he's doing that walk like he has to take a dump. Yeah. He, where he's, he's, like, clenching his cheeks. He's almost power walking. Oh, oh, don't worry me. But he's he's he has a poopy. Mm-hmm. He's also trying to play it off, but walk by him just like, oh, like, like, like everything's yeah, cool. Here. Everything's cool. No, nope, I'll see you in surgery tomorrow, Tom. Uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> hey, hey, the, the donuts are great. Thank you. Top of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get another uh, cup up on some coffee. Stocks and bonds. Stocks and bonds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the stock market today? Ooh, rabble, rabble, rabble. It's like, adults don't say rabble, rabble, rabble. <laughs> So now, how about those Dodgers? <laughs> so now, these kids are like the smartest kids I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like so somehow they kids. found the records room, and they instantly know like where to go. Like if I break into a hospital tonight, for instance, yeah, is there like a section in the records basement? There's like this is for all the crazy people. No, this is for all the people that committed murders. This no. is for all the. Trust me, I've, <laughs> I've I have seen medical records in hospitals. They are not that organized. Maybe they should organize them like that, just in case people and, want to break in and just get and, a specific file. But if they're if they weren't organized now, they were definitely not organized then. What if they were back then, and they're just like, you know what? It's too easy for kids to break in here, and it just acts as a file. <laughs> like we give up. <laughs> best you could hope for now is if you're looking for something that happened hundred years ago, you'd have to find out where they stash them and which boxes, it, and you'd have to literally drag tons of boxes. Not go through these everything. Fifteen-year-old kids. Yeah, apparently they just they, instantly find what they all, need. They, it would just be paper, paper <laughs> records. Yeah, and then you have a. Uh, a magnifying glass looking thing that wasn't invented until like 2020. So then he has like this <coughs> black wax cylinder. Oh, and oh, they, that's a music thing. Yeah. yeah, they use them to make LPs. I don't even know how those things work, man. Oh, like a record? Yeah, I have a record player. They had machines back then. You could people would make their own records. How do they work? What like how how do you put music on a record? Yeah. That's a or great question. Or like those question. one things where it's like a tube and it has like a little bump here and a bump here and a bump here. What the hell? Like, look, that shit. Didn't we just watch a movie where they had one of those? Yeah. Yeah, they tried to throw in the garbage. Oh, yeah. That was in uh, Lore. God 
Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I am Lord. <laughs> but like that tube thing. Could you imagine if like Beethoven's like, all right, I got some of y'all m- so they haven't have heard yet. And he drops symphony number five and everybody's yeah. like, damn. This is almost the exact same type of record player. That is the exact same. Yeah. It's that little tube thing. It's got the tube, yeah. But there were special machines that weren't just record players, I'm trying to say. Yeah, this thing that right you there. You could cut your own records. How? I if just you, don't understand if you, it. If you had the right equipment back then. There was that Asian kid and his dad, and he has like, it looks like it's just a piece of twine. And he says something to it, and he winds it. Yeah. And then his dad's like, okay, now do this. And he goes, and then like it shoots back the sound. And you're just like, dude, like it's... I just don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, it works, but it I was did like, work. how? It was going to be like, Brian, shut up. Well, it's like the first computer that was ever made. That's Super computer. <laughs> you couldn't fit that sucker. In, it was in a gym. Yeah. In, in this first floor of your house. And, and not Krasinski. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Asian gym. Or, I mean, Halpert. Oh, when he signed her cast? Yeah. That was pretty funny, though. <laughs> so now it's the nerd girl, and I don't even know. Do we call him a foreigner? He's not from town. How do we say that? Uh, oh, They're listening to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, her sessions? The, the Hispanic guy, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. So, yeah, they're listening to... Like it's a it's a tube that you play the tube and it like has all her sessions recorded. Yeah. So no. they like oh don't mind me I was gonna have this gigantic machine right here listen to us so that way in case years from now high school kids want to break into the basement and steal it and listen to it they can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seven. And so she looks in the book and there's a new story. And somebody named Charlie. It's called The Dream. What if it's Charlie Day from freaking Always Sunny? Night, man. <laughs> Whoa. He's like, Night. hey, Dad, how come this person's named Freebird? He's like, oh, because he Now we're back this. in House of Dragons. They're going <laughs> to tell us The Dream. Uh-oh. Aegon's Dream. <laughs> Dude. Anthony, promise me if I ever die and I'm super sweaty, like, just dry me off. Yeah. Like, pat my face dry. So the uh, the man spider... <laughs> uh, he is now running down the hallway and it's red l- red light flooding the hallway you know he's gonna die yeah i remember back in high school did you ever change your lights in your room mm. like did your parents let you do that we're just gonna get all the secrets on i no, dude we could like when we went to like spencer's gifts and you'd buy like a red light bulb and then you change your light and you're just like oh look at me i have a red light in my room <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like okay no, cool. I've never done like, that. Oh, now it's blue. <laughs> what in the so world is this? The, the lights keep flickering, and there's some. That's that Gorak, yeah, person, like, that dude. Like some weird, like it looks like if the the ring lady um, went to too many buffets. <sighs> it looks like if Lizzo and the, the ring. <laughs> <laughs> if if Lizzo actually did have a hoagie den. If Lizzo lost a little bit of weight and then just became pale. <laughs> yeah. If she looked like an uncooked shrimp. Yeah. Or like one of those uncooked bratwursts. I was going to go for a zombie, but I guess you guys are being nicer. <laughs> I mean. I, I don't know if we're being nicer. <laughs> we're doing like, you know that bratwurst that has like the white meat and it has like the, the blue It looks veiny? like the stadium bratwurst. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. It's like a stadium oh, bratwurst monster just, with hair. It's like it's like old. Old, um, old Brockburst because it's it's just yellowy. What if she comes? She's like, "Why'd you throw me into the bag of fire? Why'd you throw me at that guy's balls?" So, like, all of these monsters seem like if you ran, you could get away. Well, she keeps just, popping up somewhere. Like, don't stop running because they all seem to like don't shuffle. Stop. Well, like you would think that you ran towards that thing. It's like way too many of them. Uh, you could listen. do the Dwight spin move. Yeah. And just juke them and then go. <laughs> this CGI is not that good because Man. they're going down the same hallway. And well, that and, and she kind of, whoever, whatever this thing is, keeps keep getting lost in the red light. She's like, hey. And hey. all I see is hair. 
Oh, she she's just trying to give him a hug. She See, wants to be, be a hug. She loves him. <laughs> They're not all tens, guys. No. All right. Sometimes you got to get that one or two. You wait too long, you'll be old too. <laughs> <laughs> See, now she's like, "Oh, I love you," and she's so digesting him yeah, through her chest like a big hug, but it's somehow making her skinnier. Oh, oh this is like this done. is like ODB. Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was get cool. in my awesome. belly, <laughs> dude. Okay, well, and then again, like every movie, they're instantly just too late. Yes, always too late. So, Which, Anthony, if you ever need to go anywhere, get there two seconds earlier. Yeah, that's right? it. That's always. that's, that's it. your motto to live by. So, if you're like almost to my front door, take two quick steps. Just in case. <laughs> that's what that's like I learned first the first thing I learned as a kid was if you're on time, you're late. Mm-hmm. That is. If you're late, don't even show up. No. So now it's election night. Yeah. <sighs> and dad's just having like, a yeah. drink like, hey, where are you at, girl? Yeah, it's like, tell me what's wrong. Tell me what I can do. Tell me what's wrong. He's like, nope, just watch the election. Because that's what we do. Yeah, Back apparently. Yeah. One of our four channels. <laughs> it's, uh, there's the election. There's Cagney and Lacey. 2020. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and for those, those my age, we remember if you watch too long, you get the Indian test pattern. What? Yeah. 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 They had the, the programming would shut down at like about 11 o'clock, 1130 at night. Yeah. And you get the test pattern. What's yeah. that? We used to joke it was the Indian test pattern because you see it, you see the picture of, a, of an Indian. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And it was just, it was it's just, just white noise. It was just like a screensaver. Let go. I remember. So now Stella's so, mom apparently has passed away. Yeah. Well, no, she left. And she said it was because. Everybody's uh, saying it's because of her. Because of the kid. And, and uh, he's telling her it's not your fault she left. He's like, I told you to quit playing Dungeons and Dragons. And quit pulling turds out of the toilet. <laughs> I told you to quit hanging out with the And putting them in purses Wait. and lighting them on fire. Dude, and quit hanging out with the turd burglar. Exactly. <laughs> and we kept telling you, quit hanging out with the kids that grab their own dumps. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. bam. He's like, make better life choices. I've always told you this your whole life. And now look at you. Garbage You've been in, breaking gar- into houses. Garbage in, garbage out. Mm-hmm. He's like, within the last 48 hours, you've had fresh turds by you. You've had a fireballs. You've got into strangers' cars, broken into houses. People have switchblades. You've murdered three kids. Like, what the hell happened to you? Yeah, really. Like, this is the start of your summer. Like, how are you going to get anything worse than this? <laughs> the theme, they should be playing. You, you ain't seen nothing yet in the music background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so his name's Ramon Morales. Oh, oh Fabio. So, so he is Hispanic. Fabio. I mean, we don't know. I know a bunch of kids, their name's like Dehan and they're white. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. All of us are high 57s now. I don't care what they say. <laughs> we don't know who our ancestors were. We can't find any bodies, they're saying. And she's like, well, you're never going to, because guess what? Look at this book of blood. Children's blood. So then that's the question. Is the book half full of blood or half empty of blood? That's true. Boom. That's nothing to do with anything, buddy. A philosophizer. The the policeman is uh, asking about how they saved uh, Stella. Or the the girl with the uh, the bug bites all over her <laughs> before she almost died. They just kicked her in the face. They're like, we just kicked her right in the face. And he's like, guess what? Joke's on you. There was never any spiders. You just beat up your sister for no reason. You stomped your sister. Has she had enough in, in, already? In a dark room. There's no without spiders. That was her boyfriend's wiener yeah. that you threw poop on. <laughs> yeah. that's such a messed up thing dude it's like (laughs) well that that's what a brother would do oh and it's so funny because it happened and it was clearly an accident you know but he's like damn the aim though like that was pretty solid that was an unintended uh happenstance like good thing tommy was gone you know because for the rest of tommy's life he'd be like gosh darn it 
<laughs> he really <laughs> grind my gears when he threw that bag in my car. Poopy wiener. You know, he's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to live it down. <laughs> These are my favorite pair of jeans. So they're both, uh, Ramon and the girl are both in prison. They're talking about how to, how to end the book. Yeah. I'm getting that, but I'm not sure how they're going to do like, it. Do you still have your switchblade on you? It's like, Cut it up you, in pieces. Can you get us out of prison? Right. I bet the locks are the same. He's like, you ever seen Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> it only took him 13 years or something like that to dig his way out. Yeah. But he had, didn't have a switchblade. No. no. You do. That thing's done miracles tonight. And it's not even like chipped or dented or bent or anything. It's perfectly. Dude. Perfect condition. That's probably a hot Tori Hanzo still. <laughs> <laughs> switchblade. <laughs> Uh-oh. My Tai Titty Walker. I remember that name. Oh, he knows about this guy. So now the other police officer guy is going to start reading. Yeah, so so he's reading a story and he puts his thumb over the top of the, the ink and it smears. He's like, you writing books with fresh ink? Now he's going through the halls yelling Stella. Thinks he's Marlon Brando. <laughs> <laughs> it's a streetcar named Desire. <laughs> he just Stella. needs some beer. Stella. <laughs> Stella Rosa. Because every time I serve somebody beer, I give them a butter knife to wipe the head off of the gold-plated rim. Why? Because it's fancy. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just not pour it high enough so like a normal human. We're in the police station, and he's walking around, and he sees... Uh, he, he sees the dog growling. Like, you think if you become a police officer, they train you, like, this is how you be tough. Yeah. I'd be like, no. Like, you, there no amount of training would teach me to be like, okay, look, someday you're going to have an alien monster thing that's going to come down from your chimney and your dog's going to be afraid of it. But... You as a police officer cannot be afraid of a monster that just ate 18 people and, you know. I'd be like, nah. Yeah. I think they should train them in paranormal studies. Future police officers. I had a a friend who worked for the cable company. And part of his package for work with the cable company was two free hella flights. To the hospital a year. Oh, yeah. And he's like, what are you going to be making me do where I need free helicopter flights to the hospital? Well, I mean, in case, you know, you have a heart condition or something and you need to be shipped quickly. Do you realize what they charge people for those medical helicopters to travel? Yeah. Uh, I know because of my experience. My, yeah, wife, my, my wife had to come up here. $50,000 my insurance paid for that. That's not and much that, at all. Compared to what, this, that's what they charge for the services. All the medical equipment, the people like Anthony, highly skilled people have to be on there. Anthony does a podcast. On, on, <laughs> I, I am not a... Uh, that's his other life. A helicopter pilot. My brother, Donnie I'm and Vi. nursing, skilled yeah. nursing. Donnie yeah. and Vi, they had to take a, a helicopter flight. And I think it was like, I don't even know, 15 minutes long. Like, here's your bill for it. And it was... Not fifty thousand, like way more. Yeah. A lot. We can talk about it after we don't record. But yeah, dude. So now there's a oh. like a a body and like a decomposed body that's putting itself back together on the ground. It fell down through the thing like this. Like, how do you train a police officer? You don't chicken shit. All right, you be tough. Oh, geez, that is terrifying. Oh, and then on top of it, looking and it, bad. Oh, wow. And it just like walks up and snaps his neck. I didn't know Steven Seagal was eight feet tall. I, I know. This is, the, man. this is the jangly man. Oh. That's my Thai titty walker. <laughs> That's who it is. Okay. Do you not remember that story either? I don't. My Thai titty walker. There's only like three or four like major good stories they have. Like, So they, they changed the name? No, nah, my Thai titty walker. Oh, yeah. That's the name of it. They call it the jangly man, though. Jangle, jangle, jangle. Ramon. Mm-hmm. So he's like walking on his hands and knees like a dog. It looks like the creatures from a quiet place, but have human heads. Yeah. All right. Well, you see, I'd be like, hey, Ramon, sucks to be you, man, but 
He's coming like, after you. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna like dip out now. Yeah, you're you, cool here, be, right? You you got it. You can handle yourself. I think she said, Ramon, you're on your own now. He wants the keys. <laughs> right. I'm mean, like, do you uh, got that switchblade? No. So how are you gonna get out? Is it trying to like force its way through the bars? Yeah. I think it's yeah. gonna ooze its way out. And it like shoved its head into the into the bars going after Ramon and It's a cat? Just able to squeeze it into weird like, places? Seriously. Yes. So And they just open the door like ooh. So sucks she for opens you. hers and then opens his. And then grabs the his book. Cell. Yeah, grab the book and they run out. Oh, then Nixon's on he won? He won, yeah. <laughs> Did he, he won in sixty eight. Did he ever do anything like he like peace signs in se- or he anything? Won in 72 that... also. Oh, that's right. There it is. Where he just chalked up the double deuces right there on TV. So now we're clearly in a love story because they're outside talking in the rain. Yeah. I've never had a conversation in the rain like that. Like you see these movies and you're just like, I want that to happen to me. Like if I was like, Anthony, I need your help, brother. You're telling me you watched that movie Singing in the Rain? <laughs> so now, you want to be like that? <laughs> Dancing well, and singing? Less, so, oh. oh, yeah. So they're they're living their best life. They steal a cop car. Oh. And they're being chased by the jangly man. Oh, man, here it goes. Last night I was almost arrested, actually. Uh, so my neighbors, they were over. You know, we were hanging out. And then their, I think their son's like, 14 or 15. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, Brian, like, tell him to come out. Or, like, let's go to, you know, his homework's done, so yell at him, tell him to come over to your house. I was like, all right. And so I was like, I don't think it's going to be a good look for me to be yelling at, like, 10, 11 o'clock at night at a 14-year-old boy's window. Yeah. Come outside. <laughs> come over to my house. No ditty. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah all the day was going to be like, police officers, please. Yeah. We're a 40-year-old man yelling at a 15-year-old boy's window to come outside. <laughs> you know? I was like, what the hell? That's ignorant. That's yeah. ignorant. I would, I would have t- given him a hard no if somebody asked me to do that. <laughs> I don't. Fun. You could do that. Do you want to do that? I don't want to do it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Because like, I went into their house and was yelling at him. And then I go back out to the garage. I was like, dude, your house is like they were playing. I think uh, I Am Legend was on. Oh, that's a good movie. Yeah. And so I was yelling. I was like. Hurry up and come downstairs. Will Smith's I Am Legend's on. I was like, he just saved the cat. <laughs> then I go into the garage. I was like, I don't know if your son heard. They're like, we heard you. I was like, so what the fuck? All of our neighbors just hear me yelling? <laughs> so now they are running through the streets. and Well, Ramon crashed into the back of a oh, garbage yeah. truck. A garbage truck. And they run into... Are they back at the Bellows house? Oh, because Jangly Man was at the front. Yeah. So I think they're they're back at the Bellows house and with the book. And oh. oh, she's trying to uh, the girl with the glasses is trying to reason with uh, Jangly Man with uh, what's her name? Sarah Bellows. Sarah Bellows. She's the owner of that book. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to rename her Sarah Bellum. <laughs> Cerebellum. Cerebellum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blum, <laughs> yeah. So now she's like, we know you didn't poison those kids. And even if they did, they probably deserved it. Got to stop doing that. All right. You told them no more phones after midnight. (laughs) No more Mr. Beast. I just hate cell phones. That's my problem. (laughs) Oh, so now all of a sudden the house has electricity. Yeah. Oh. This is when you should be worried. They didn't spend much on the budget for lighting in this film, I'll tell you. Like, oh, the switch has been here the whole time? And it looks like an old, like, 1950s ballroom. It looks like the basement of the Titanic. Yeah. Like they're well, about so to. So she sees lights, hmm. and he doesn't. Yeah, but he picks up the book. Yeah, that or he's got he's got night vision. The or now the name is the haunted house, and Stella is in the story. The haunted house, Stella. Where's That's Marlon, just a shitty name. Where's Marlon Brando? I want him in. This That's morning. what I'm saying. Well, there's the jangle man. With the jangle man. So now she's looking around. This looks like uh. So, I mean... It looks I mean, like zombies on a Call of Duty game. Yeah. Like, I, I kind of feel like... I mean, even though it is the jangly man, he's very scary. Like, if the book is telling you exactly what's about to happen, you can kind of, like, know how to defend it. No, you ever see that the Saturday Night Live skit where the guy's writing in his journal? Mm. He's like, and then you will say this, and I shoot you. And he's like, what? That's not going to happen. Boom! 
And he's like, and then this person comes in, and then you shoot, and I shoot, and then the sister comes like, boom, boom, and you're just like, what the hell? And, the, and it's like, and then two cops come in, and the cops start talking to each other, and they shoot each other, and there's like, boom, and you're just like, what the, you know? That was like the first skit, and like it's become so, like amazing. But like, what if it's like you're reading the book? It's like, and then you wasted your time reading the book instead of leaving, and now I'm behind you for a rear naked choke, and you die. I'd be like, oh damn it, oh darn it. Yeah, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I just like poke my eyes really hard, and they're like, "Oh, now I can't see it. I can't read it." <laughs> Boom! Problem no, solved. No, Sarah you can't Bello. get me. Ew, Sarah Bello. I think that she's open. Is that her? So she <gasps> opens the door, and that's the lady that was under the veil. And oh no, now it's the, just some old woman. Some this old blind lady yells, "She's here!" Uh, Probably to the jangly man. She's in here. They're looking for Sarah. But so, she wasn't in it. So she's a vampire, apparently. She I, looked I, in the mirror and she, her reflection wasn't there. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so now they're both uh, like they're both hiding in different spots from the jangly man. Like she's in the main part of the house and he's in. Ephraim the, just yelled Sarah. Yeah, like he's in the dark part of the basement, I guess. Oh, but well then here comes a creepy uh, little the, girl. The, this little girl that points at under, under the, the table. table. Yeah. And her name is Mary Lou. Right. I was like, uh, I'm pretty sure this is in another movie called Django. I was about to say, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting plantation vibes. Dude. Uh-oh, here she comes. You would have lied, Lulu. Because if you did, I'm going to... St- so, was that old woman Sarah? Um, I... I want to say yes. I'm not sure though. I'm starting to. I'm starting to lean that way. So, so was oh, that Ramon? Yeah, Ramon. He finds like something in the dirt. Oh, look at those feet under look the like door. A watch. Yeah, like, like a an old watch. watch. Or yeah, like one of those ones. Like this is a picture of me and my mom. Or like a locket. Yeah. Yeah. Always with me. Okay. Now it's just dark. Now it's like, what the hell is going on here? Oh. You can't hide. So now there's two people that just found the girl under the table. And they purposely stepped on her glass like, you won't be needing these anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make it harder for you to stumble around and, and run away. Dang, just grabbing her by her hair. You realize that's yeah. elder oh. abuse, don't you? She, I know what's going on. I think that she is Sarah Bellows. And she's living what happened to Sarah. So these people are dragging her. Oh, wow, her. yeah. Okay. You know, there's the old woman when she was younger, I believe. And there's freaking Abraham Lincoln looking dude. So she's going to become Sarah Bellows? Or she Think myself, it was written in the book. Harold. Oh, all these people were... Okay, those names that they were looking up at the library. Yeah. Are all the people that she wrote stories about and killed. Yeah. Like, why can't you write a cool story like... And then Sarah had a million friends and had seven billion dollars and lived happily ever after. Because and made everybody once a week fish their own turds out of the toilet and light on fire on their balls. <laughs> well, then it wouldn't be a scary movie. <laughs> it would be that would, what? Every week you had to do that? That's but if, scary. If you had billions of dollars. That's out of categories. Just <laughs> shut the blank up. I'm I'm good with it. <laughs> Like, and then she had millions of friends, and she had a giraffe, <laughs> and all the tigers, and, Vic, were... <laughs> and Vicky Valencourt showed me. <laughs> and I like them, too. <laughs> I know every time I want to start off one of our episodes, like, you know, hey, man, how's your daughter? <laughs> like, Why? <laughs> just the lyrics of the, those funny songs. So now, oh, are we back in real life? IRL? <laughs> I think Kane got so pissed when he kept talking all that stupid <laughs> words. They, they got so mad, yeah. now they turned the lights off on us again. Oh, yeah, because she's tied up in a basement. Yeah. Like, this is what you get. Stella. They're whispering now. Yeah, so she's just like in the dark in the basement. Somewhere. Like, hey, I'm pretty sure that wasn't Sarah. Like, I'm pretty sure she just... Possess another random girl's body from like twenty years later. Like, but we've already gone so, too far. Oh, so I have another story 
just for you. Uh, well, you know you got to write in blood. Yeah. You got to put it in the book. Otherwise, it doesn't count. If you had to have blood, what's the, what would you do to get bleed? If you had to have blood, whose blood you know does you it gotta, have to be? Yours, because you got to. I guarantee this is gonna be like right in blood, bitch. You probably like like blood brothers. Take Ouch. your fingers, get some blood while you're writing. You know. Yeah. But like, you do you wrap think? Wrap it up afterwards. What you got to? Well, I mean, look in the basement. I doubt that there's any sharp rocks or anything like that. So, like, what's your next bet? To try to punch yourself in the nose, get a bloody nose, and then just well, write I would, it. I wouldn't use rusty nails in the basement. It's got to be something sharp in the basement. Well, she's in that torture dungeon. Yeah. So now she's confronting Sarah, saying, "You were the victim. Now you're the mon. You became the monster they they claimed you were." Ooh, how the turntables have turned. How well, sweet the fox is when she's cornered. Mm-hmm. See, it's like that stupid thing, like those people that cheat. They say, "Well, everybody thought I was cheating, so I might as well have just done it then." You're just like, no, that's not how it works. You should have lawyered up. You nerd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now she's in there by herself. Yeah. Talking to a ghost. Now we're in an escape room, it looks like. Right. All these s- spirits and real people in there. She's like, well, guess what? Now you're a nerd. I'm going to tell a real story. Right, because yeah, now, so now, now the story's going to come out that you were falsely accused of something. So then you became the mean person that killed everybody. And then somebody's like, no, this is what really happened. Like, mm, that, you know, what if there's like, nope, I told you she was a weirdo. Yeah, so she's she, she says, I'm going to tell you a story and starts to reason with Sarah about how the rage has to stop. The anger has to stop. How about telling a story that doesn't have a rage? I say, yeah. well, here's something. Maybe you shouldn't have broken into my house and found my hidden room and then knew that I was going to kill all you people for breaking into my house with my book. Yeah, really. Maybe you should have stopped because she was stopped. Yeah. She was stopped. But you broke into her house and, and stole her book. And then you started it up again. Just like on Jason 6. So she grabs the pen oh. and, and pokes her own finger with the blood. It's going to be a short story. I and figured she was getting her blood that way from the finger. What, was like, what is this? Gonna, she pierces her ear. You're going to write it. Sarah Bellows was innocent. She knew the truth and tried to stop them. Well, guess what? This isn't freaking butterfly effect. So you can't Which, change the past. No. Nope. But maybe she can make it better for everybody else. It's like, And her parents were a bunch of nerds. I was just secretly hoping she would write, like, Sarah Bellows was a Nerdatron 3000. <laughs> and she, now it's on paper. And, <laughs> so it's true. And she loved Naruto. I would have gone, I would have gone with the one where she uh, was a good person and, and made a million dollars and finished the story happy thereafter. Nope. Sarah Bellows, like, she tricks her. She's like, she knew the truth, and then she did this, but then we told her the truth. But now she's rotting in hell. And then that's how she tricked him at the end. And she's eating nothing but toe soup. <laughs> By the way, she the toe is missing. And, and it, she has IBS hourly. <laughs> no, no kidding. It's like, and she can't come back to life this time and torture people. Joke's on her. Only this time. Right. So. And all my friends except Tommy came back to life. <laughs> Tommy's working in the field. He's got a job now. Yep. He's a scarecrow. Tommy has to get repolled every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that just sounds bad. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> so whatever so whatever she did with the story worked. And now everybody's okay and we oh, get her happy. voice over. Stories hurt. Stories heal. <sighs> you know what doesn't heal? Her broken ass glasses. Yeah, and putting them on her face makes it harder to see. And then when I became uh, Sarah Bellows, they didn't step on my glasses. <laughs> Come to think about it, I don't even need glasses. I am, I'm the prettiest girl in high school. I am not a Nerdatron 3000. And I got new friends that actually had good Halloween costumes. 
<laughs> so, oh, apparently, so we see, like, oh, she, she entered that book. She entered her story, one of her stories, into the Scary Stories contest. So this was all like a, a yeah, that's like a what, dream. No, I think that she just did it. Oh, I think she just did it to do what a. Oh, she what? went to she went to Nationwide looking ni- nice glasses. Right. Yeah. I like it. So she hands Ramon a letter. Because Ramon was dodging uh, the draft. That's why he was on the run. Okay. And so now they said, guess what, Ramon Morales from Ohio. Your draft number he, just came up. You got to go. You got to go. They said, you're going. You're going. Yeah. I'll see you in hell. Well, a while back they mentioned that her brother was sent to, to Vietnam and came back in pieces. That, that was one of the... I, re- I saw that earlier. Oh, so she wrote... I like how everybody's handwriting's the same. I know. Everybody has this, like, uh, this perfect, like, 1970s cursive. So she was uh, Sarah Bell's the whole time? <laughs> yeah. I was like, did I ever tell you about your twin sister, Sarah? <laughs> no, Dad, but I knew the book. So she still just rocked so, around that book, huh? So she's going to use the book oh, she to, wants bring to bring them everybody back. back. But hey, Anthony, you've been dead for 75 years. Uh, this is a lot of things have happened. There's a thing called a computer now. I mean, you could bring back Tommy, but then I we would have just... indoor toilets. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's a car. I, I tell uh, you, if someone told me that did that to me and brought me back, say like year 3024, I'd be pissed. Yeah, I'd be like, what? The hell? I would be a zombie to, like, to them. Hey, Here's the three shells. I never got to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And right? you got to, you brought me back here. What PlayStation version is out right now? I'd be mad because I'd be like, what's because, a PlayStation? Because I missed the end of um, um, <laughs> Game of Thrones or something like that. Yeah. Right? Did he ever. Did, he, did the dragons ever come? <laughs> That's what I'd be asking. I want to know what happened to Rhaenyra. Yeah. But I guess that that was the, uh, the end of the movie. They drove yeah. off into. The or into the the woods or whatever. Back to wherever the cameras went and all the lights. <laughs> yeah. It was new. It was like, hey, you want to get something to eat? If you guys <laughs> if if you guys do a film, do it in the dark. You could probably save a lot of money. Yeah, because then you don't ever say anything. You don't ever ha- don't light anything. Subtitles. Just have it in black, right? They'd be like Psh, punch sound. Somebody got hit. <laughs> <laughs> do you see that fight scene? <laughs> Wasn't that good? He was fighting dragons. Did you see that battle of bastards over in exactly. the corner? <laughs> <What>? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, uh, all right. Well, uh, top off. we'll be back with final thoughts on scary stories to tell in the dark. Dun, dun, dun. All right. We're back with final thoughts on scary stories to tell in the dark. To tell in the dark. Well... I think our kids got too afraid. Yeah. We're bored. We're bored. <laughs> Probably bored. I know. I was telling him, I was like, dude, we're going to record at like noon. He's like, but we watch movies at night. I'm like, but we're going to record today. He's like, why don't we just record at night? I'm like, <laughs> because? Because we're doing it now. Because that, we're doing it during the day. Yeah. And he's like, okay. You know, I... I really like the movie, man. Yeah, it's a good one. Like there was, like I said, I had the books when I was younger. Or I mean, my friend had the books when we were younger. And then when uh, my son's old enough, I bought him those books. So that's just a fun thing. And yeah. then, like I said, we read the books. And then they did the movie. And I was like, oh. And so it was, I really liked it. Yeah. I mean, I do enjoy that they take the anthology approach but they don't have like a wraparound and then a bunch of separate stories they have stories that are created and then in it in part of the main story so everything feels like it's part of the same story it's like that herald one that's not in any of those books well yeah the herald one i remember the big toe i know some of them had to be like probably not Part of the the books, but unless what well, if they're going to write a number four or something, maybe. 
you know, because Harold, I don't remember that one, but I remember the spider face. I remember my tie, Diddy Walker. I remember the missing toe. Um, Which they, I guess, I don't know, like Netflix uh, renamed it the the Jangly Man. No, it still said the name of it Did was it? My Tai Titi Walker, but the guy's name, I guess, was Jangly Man. Okay. Because okay. I think that that's what he he mumbles it. Okay. When he's going after you, he mumbles it, My Tai Titi Walker. And you're just like, what does that even mean? You're like, nobody knows what it means. But just say it. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. You know? Hmm. But no, I really like that. I mean, I know it's a kid's movie. Yeah. But I enjoyed it because, like... We were talking about it too with, uh, I think James Balsamo. Recently. Oh, yeah, that's right. Where it's yeah, like, yeah. you know what? Us as adults now, like we're the ones that are watching the movies. We're the ones that are doing stuff. And so when they're bringing back movies, like you know, years ago, and they brought back Transformers, and then they're bringing you know all the uh, Mouse Trap mm-hmm. and the Mean One, and yeah, stuff like that. Like us as adults now, we're the ones that are paying to go to movies and subscriptions stuff like that where it's like that was around when i was a kid Mm -hmm. and so i was super stoked when this movie came out because i was like what i was like that's something when i was in fifth and sixth grade i remember those books and now they made a movie from it yeah i hope i genuinely hope they make more of those movies i think there's supposed to be a sequel i i don't know when it comes out that would be awesome Mm -hmm. yeah I mean, I like it doesn't. Yeah, it does come off. It, it does it, like it involves kids. It's not inappropriate, but it doesn't feel kiddy. It doesn't feel like overly childish. Yeah, it was. I really liked it. Uh, yeah, I thought like the the children, you know, like acted a little more adult. The adults, you know, treated them like, you know. Like, like it, it felt like real interactions. Mm-hmm. Like it didn't feel like we we're watching like a Disney Channel movie. I think the gore too. There was still yeah. gore. There's still gore, but there was no blood. There's no blood. <clears throat> you know, like when he got stabbed. Yeah. You know, and there's like, oh, he's bleeding. There's like, is that hay? I, it's a nice <laughs> twist. <laughs> it's it scary. And then that big fat Glorox. Oh yeah. <laughs> when instead of dislocating her jaw and freaking eating him just absorbed him like that was a good one yeah that was good you know no i like i said i really liked it man it it was funny with when they pop up the names you're just like i remember this story and then just to see the oh, twist yeah. of them mm-hmm. god like really the beef stew in the fridge that is that's what you get for eating cold <laughs> stew man <laughs> gross unless it's gazpacho no, there should <laughs> never be any cold soup. What is in that? What's in gazpacho? I don't know. I just know it's a cold soup. Gross. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Christmas morning. I'm going to eat some cold gazpacho <laughs> and have <laughs> cold chocolate milk. And you're just like, you know, you're doing it backwards, right? <laughs> you're supposed to have hot chocolate. And I don't know, some kind of soup that's hot. <laughs> Mom, I'm sick. I got the flu. Hold on, son. Let me get you some cold soup. Let's make you feel good. Can you imagine eating cold ramen? <laughs> like, hold on. No. I just made it. No. Give me four hours and so we can cool it down. <laughs> it's ice cold. It's perfect. Just drinking beef broth. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, what did you think, Dad? Um, <clears throat> I think both of your comments are really on point. But I would, the thing I would add is it seemed I didn't see that this was meant for children in the sense that they marketed it. I think it's more adult than we know. Well, I think uh, Anthony was saying, too, like those books, those books are... Do you have those books? Uh, I did when I was a kid. I don't have them anymore. I'll let you borrow like the first or second one. And then, Tom, you can see like... The actual book itself, you know, like if they're only like, it's a little book. Yeah. Mm. You know, like each and the first story, like it tries to give you hints where it's like, okay, if you see this sign, 
that means to lean towards somebody. And then if you seem like this, then say it really loud. You know, so it's like, who's got my toe? You do. And that's when you scare people. Mm. You know, like I said, like my friend had them and they were good. But like I said, I'm pretty sure we got them in like fifth and sixth grade. And yeah. So now, well, I guess I got him for my kid when he was in fourth grade. But yeah, he's in. He just got into fifth grade this year, and we've already finished them. But yeah, they're not big books. Like each story is like, I don't know, one to two pages long, maybe three pages. You know, and so. Yeah. But the stories, they, yeah, they. I don't know. I guess it's more. Since we grew I would, up, on I, it. I would, th- I feel that these were these books were way ahead of their time, though. There's Maybe. no, there's. I don't really have a criticism for them. I think they're good books, in terms of, um, kind of like more of like a, a morality play, letting you know a different way of looking at the world. And I think it, it would help kids now as they've gone through the pandemic. They've gone through all the different. Mm-hmm woke conversation that maybe we're creating a more scary world where people don't communicate it anymore. They don't talk to each other. And maybe this communicate, people would realize there's a different way of looking at things scary because life is, is scary. I know. And that well, you're making you plans for your family. And everything's supposed to be so nice. No, it isn't. Life is going to happen. You can't do anything about it. And this way, people can survive without being traumatized to the point where everything is PTSD to them. I think this would help. Yeah. I yeah. really do. I think it's a step right. Yeah. Guess what? It's not all freaking candy and rainbows. Is that what they say? Sunshine, right. Sunshine and rainbows? No. Sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> I know. Like, sometimes I'll tell my kid, like, I'll tell him, like, dude, don't do this because this could potentially happen. You could die. And one time he got somebody, he's like, Dad, everything that says I could die. And I want to say, like, that day, like, so here's something scary, okay, that's kind of on the same topic. Mm. We've only been in school, this is 15 days now. Well, yeah, 15 days we've been in school this year. Yeah. The end of day 10, eight kids have already been hit by cars. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Wow. One kid a day, basically? Is it the same car? Are they They're walking like, across streets or what? Yeah, but there's still, there's crosswalk guards. There's are like that. Our school, every day, dude, you know, they said the first, uh, the first two weeks school, 1,200 tickets. 1,200 tickets. You're just like, we People can't do better. in the... So this is the part that I do not agree with. So the speeding, the, the speed limit in a school zone is the slowest car. And I said, fuck, sorry, nope. I said, nope, that's not right. That doesn't make any sense. Nope. The police officer said, if somebody's driving five miles an hour and you pass them going seven miles an hour, you get a ticket for passing in a school zone. That's stupid. Because how do you know that person that's going five miles an hour isn't on their phone texting and not paying attention? They said, even though if the speed limit says 15 miles an hour, if this car is being a dick face and going five miles an hour, you cannot pass that person in the school zone. That's the law. Wow. And I was like, I'd fight it. That I'll makes no fight. sense. I'll fight that ticket any day. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, trying to tell them this world isn't. But I really liked it. I think that this was a good scary movie to start out with. Oh, yeah. You it's know, to one. introduce your kids to scary movies. This one had the scare factor. It had the gore. It mm-hmm. had the good stories, everything like that. So that way they didn't have to keep up with one storyline. There was the mini stories inside. I think this was yeah. a good one to start out. Your Very kids effective. Watching. I think it was really good because just from my own experiences, like recently, um, I, I, totaled, I totaled the car. I'm oh. driving along, just driving along. Everything's fine. And I hit road debris. And I ended up going into a sign and things like that. And, and I, just, I, I decided afterwards that there's nothing I could have done about that. You just have to, I think this, is, this tells people that you have to be, be prepared that life is not perfect. Yeah. You do. Yeah. 
But yeah, no, it was, uh, I thought, you know, there wasn't like any out of character moments or anything like that. It was pretty solid. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's any other like suggestions we can give to parents no. for kids to let your kids watch a scary movie. Mm. I, I would say no to Hubie Halloween. What? Shut up. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> Anthony's just a, a big old hater. I, you know, I like, I, I've like. i got to say, I love scary movies, and I love getting scared. Yeah. I've always you know? been that way as a kid, maybe because I'm from the baby boomers generation. Well, here's a, like there was an article I read a long time ago, and it said like the kids that actually play video games more, like they're less prone to have uh, nightmares. Yeah. Because they control what's going on, so they can control what's going on in their dreams, you know? So, it kind of made sense and everything like that, but we still don't want, you know, our kids to, hey, let's watch it right now. Exactly. You know, because then you're like, dude, that's a little bit too much, you know? But then, like, we don't want to be those kids or those parents that are like, nope, my kid's not allowed to watch that until he's... Whatever, whatever. We had some friends come over. I mean, I'll do that with some stuff. It's so, like I just now. I think it was last year. We started. We finished. Uh, what do you call it? Stranger Things with Kane. Yeah. You know, because I was like, I don't know if it's too soon or not. You know, like I don't want to give the kid freaking nightmares and him be like, I'm afraid to do anything. Mm-hmm. You know. I think like, be all like, right with that. This movie, I think, was a great. Like intro to horror Definitely. films, you know. Yeah, that's the key point. Horror films. Yeah, I think it was a great intro, you know. Oh, definitely. So now the next movie I'm going to watch with them is World War Z. <laughs> <laughs> that was cl- that. There oh, might yes. be a classic someday. <laughs> I'm trying to think what's another one. Like, like 28 days later, you know. Resident Evil. That's right Resident up there. Evil? That's <laughs> yeah. pretty tame. 28 Days was, I thought, what was a good movie, bad. too. <laughs> yeah. You know, for those people that haven't lived perfect lives. Yeah. Uh, Want to wrap this up? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> we'll talk to you next time. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for listening. Bye, Kane. Nope. Nope. Just playing Legos. Yeah.